Welcome, one and all, to Illinois High School Sports East. <laughs> Today we have an excellent match between Downers Grove South and SD 308, uh, and I'm with Executive Director of this organization, Andy Mendez. Today, as hey. my co-caster. Yeah, how's it going? You didn't. I don't think you introduced yourself. I'm here with Carson. Oh yeah, <laughs> from Downers Grove South himself. Uh, doing an excellent job of getting the uh, the uh, the entire run of show at the beginning of the show, but also doing a note sheet for us uh, for this game. Obviously, a lot of information on the side of Downers Grove South because you're from there, uh, but also a lot of information on SC 308, historic team here in the IHSA. They've been along around for a long time. Um, at least both schools that make up SC 308 have been around for a long time, and now uh, as a conglomerate, they've been working pretty well. So. Let's uh, let's see how we can go here. Absolutely, I'll be color commentating tonight, I believe, and you will be play by play. But SD three hundred eight is a, I believe, it's a combination of Oswego East and Oswego regular, right? Yeah, so there's Oswego East and Oswego High School, yeah, and they're both combined into one. Yep. Absolutely, uh, both teams have played are four and one right now and have played extremely close matches versus ironically extremely close matches versus very very bad teams and very very good teams they're very hard to gauge they're they said 11 and 12 respectively and they are both teams that are going to be a lot of fun to watch try and figure out try and see how they play against each other because downers grove south has improved a lot since they've scrimmed other teams that have played sd 308 and they've changed a lot both teams have changed a lot it seems and we're just gonna have to see how this one plays out yeah, definitely agree. It looks like uh, the teams were having a little bit of a technical problem. Both were in lobby, uh, but I think one person's monitor uh, is randomly turning on and off. So it looks like we're going to have to kill a little bit more time here, Carson. But let's talk more about these teams, as you mentioned. Tell me a little bit more about how the competitive uh, roster for Donald's Grove South kind of came about and, and uh, what the coach is doing to kind of bring everyone together as well. Well, this is Downers Grove South's first year within Valorant competition. Last year, Downers South played Smash Bros for IHSCA and nothing really else, but this has been our first year in like an actual Valorant team, and we've had a really hot start. And it was kind of really just a put-together. We did tryouts half at home, half at the school. We t To get a team together, it was kind of hard because it was a lot of people that I know who play a lot of Valorant and are high ranks didn't know about the team and couldn't get on the team. But the team that we have assembled is extremely good and has had to learn how to play as a team. A lot of them not being in the competitive scene, a lot of them not being in any scene close to Valorant actually on our lower teams, helping these higher guys trying to get into a good state. But this team is fresh and seems to be ready to play. As last week, they had a excellent match versus Taft that who sits number eight, four and one, excellent match versus Taft that they nearly took down that. Yeah, absolutely. It sounds like that they've been a, a pretty competitive uh, program coming in, at least for their first year in Valorant. I do remember them participating in the Super Smash Bros. events and seeing their name around, seeing, the, I should say, seeing your guys' name around. Um, you know, it's, it seems to be really working out really well for the coach and for the program. You mentioned having to do like tryouts kind of on and off campus. How did that work? Uh, well, we had two days of tryouts because we had so many people like actually trying out we, that we didn't expect it. So even on days where we had, we had to split it into two days and we still had like maybe 15, like five on fives with other teams going in, against an actual competitive games. It was kind of really put together, it felt like, but it was done really, really well. And we got a really, really good team out of it. And we got to gauge correct players and everything like that. One thing I will say as far as program traditions go, Dennis Grove South, even though they're a new first team that hasn't played together, they really, really have this tradition. I actually opened some cases with them earlier. They opened CSGO cases as a special ritual, and they swear last <laughs> week if they hadn't, if they had gotten more than a blue in that in the two that we opened, they would have beat Taft. So let's hope tonight wow. that they got a good, good open from a box there. <laughs> so it's all contention on the RNG, baby. Well, it looks like we are getting into game pretty soon here, I believe. Uh, just looking at the chat here. A little bit of rock, paper, scissors actually going on. So maybe one person is restarting. <laughs> we are going to cut to a quick break, but when we come back, we will start with the draft phase for this game one. Don't go away.
we are back here on the match on bind actually if you're just joining us this is donna's grove south versus oswego east and oswego high school in the form of sd 308 again my name is andy mendez executive director of the illinois high school esports association and of course joining me here is carson k from downers grove south kind of yep. looking at the uh at the picks here uh, what, what, what is standard and what is not well downers grove south is a little bit unconventional yoru obviously not a popular pick but you see it pretty fr frequently for the stangs but typically you'll see guys like jelly welly who just picked brim stay on brim and stay as smokes jelly welly is south's top player and from what we can see sd305 is lacking somebody like jelly select your agent they the sd308 not 305 yeah. 305, 305. <laughs> whatever i'm thinking uh new york or something but <laughs> sd308 correction does not have really a top player that typically top frags they flip around a lot not all of them are in the same spot but we're not going to see too much of an unconventional strategy from either team here seeing two fades two uh two i do not know the name of the lady with the rocket launcher oh my goodness oh that would be raise i, yeah, raise. I, I like the raise pick here yeah, yeah the raise pick i like the raise pick raise is always a fun character two skies and actually an exact match i didn't even realize but an exact match so i guess we're really going to see these teams head to head in their skill levels which is always a fun thing Absolutely, and you know, I'm, I'm hoping to see uh, some pop-offs here um, with the Chamber. You know, obviously Chamber picking on both sides. It's obviously a very popular pick right now in the meta as we've seen it in this tournament especially. Um, but just with that ultimate and the, pretty much the free guns, right? That's that's kind of what the strength is here for, uh, for that character. So we will see exactly how this will play out for both teams here on Bind. Bind a favorable map, I think, for both, both of these teams and pretty much just any team in the IHSCA right now. I think Bind is a pretty pretty favorable map uh, although we do seem to see a lot of uh, a lot of ice box and not a whole lot of breeze absolutely breeze is a little bit of a match but a little, little frowned upon competitively yeah. as we get oh. sent back to the lobby for whatever reason but going back on that south does pick bind quite a bit <laughs> yeah and does i think have not played bind in one singular match and it wasn't up to them and they wanted to play ice box but uh, yeah. we are we have been sent back to the lobby here not exactly sure why but uh, that gives me more time, I guess, to refer to SD three hundred eight. Does SD three hundred eight have like a conglomerate team name that they use conjoined? Sorry, I'm not sure what the question was. Sorry, SD three hundred eight being what? Like uh, a combined team. Like, do they have like their own mascot for that combined team, or do they? Oh, call that's a, like that's the a, Panther Wolves. No, no, that's a great question. I know that Unit Five technically they went as the Iron Cats for a while, but I don't think they. I think they've kind of dropped that branding a little bit. Um, but no, I think Oswego 308, their logo seems to be their district logo. So I don't think there's anything, I mean, maybe the globes. I don't know. There is like a little bit of a, a world or a globe there. Um, yeah. I so believe yeah. that's the regular logo, the globe just for SD, for school district 308. Uh, but yeah, again, same picks as I guess we'd guess, but South plays bind a lot, has won a lot on bind. They like bind uh, and they are defending here which gives them a lot of advantages. South plays the defense really well, plays a really aggressive defense, and really they like to catch with unconventional strats. South loves to do unconventional strats, catch others off guard, and get it done. And we'll see how it goes here on Bind. Yeah, definitely have to agree there. It looks like there's a lot of people uh, in the chat kind of cheering on Oswego or cheering on Downers Grove South. Make sure that you're keeping it... Uh, Keeping it top level here in the chat as well. We don't want to that dreaded, dreaded emote only mode. We don't want. We don't want to turn back. Absolutely. As we're gonna see south, <laughs> there we see. I apologize. <laughs> I already got it wrong. Us. We go load the box on B side here for pistol round. South more sticking to an A look on pistol round, but B side you don't see too often in pistol round just because of how open it is. But I guess they are going to just head probably mid and split a little bit. But we will see. Do Red Turtle had a, have has, has had a lot of get good games as the chamber floor down or south here, and here fell a little bit off during Taft's game, but is always a consistent player, always a great lurker for with the chamber for south. Definitely, we will see how this plays out. It's like pretty standard all across the board for a pistol round, although we got a little bit of frenzy action going on here. Might be able to peek along. Potentially, they do here. 
through, and the Wraith's gonna go down almost immediately. Bird is gonna go through, finding his own teammate as well. But one is gonna be pushing. They definitely hear the footsteps, and here is the first interaction. Winding is gonna take down the choke, and Yo Benito is gonna take down Kai. What else will we see here on this B push? Jelly Welly taking one in return. The Nyx is gonna be quick standing. to take that one back. And now, this is a 1v3 scenario. The Red Turtle trying to Spike make something planted. happen here on this chamber round. One for Frenzy, not able to make it. And the Ghost is gonna take down the Red Turtle in the hands of Wingding. You see some unconventional strategies there as, again, three Frenzies for South there. As, again, it can, it can overwhelm a team when you see something that you're not used to, good or not, or in the meta or not. And South loves to take advantage of that, but South getting completely overwhelmed there That's a good by the, by ST308 and just getting the best of them on that B-sided hold for the Mustangs, unable to rotate fast enough as it is a pistol round, and they were looking to be very, very aggressive. Definitely. We'll see what the strategy turns to next. It looks like a little bit more of a B-push again to potentially going through the top side here. Another two on the other. I can't actually tell where the fifth member of <laughs> say that the right click is gonna go down and Lachon is gonna take down one and it's a one for one scenario as Ars is taking down the back there. Oh the shorty kill is gonna happen in the tunnel. It looks like more and more will happen as Cobra turns the corner, tries to get a right click. She's a little right click there, and now it seems like we're in the same scenario just with Raze. Raze is gonna throw her bomb into that little tube there, and there's not much else she can do as a 1v3 scenario, as Nyx is gonna pick up a 4K and a plant. And that is gonna be an early ultimate pickup here uh, for Nyx as well. Absolutely. Niners Graf South kind of, again, econ there, really affecting them as they didn't have the money to defend themselves properly against the Spectre push, only running around with shorties and classics, but actually gonna see South buy more than the two, the up 2 OSD 308 team. Yeah, trying to get out from this 2-0 and and trying to keep their econ down as Brim has a lot of money with that 4K and that 2K in round one as we're going to see a more A-centered push here as South Rope oh, hits Jelly 2 be. Yeah, there's going to be a really early ultimate down in Lamps. Not going to quite take down anyone yet. As it looks like Bomb Buddy's going to go through showers. We'll see what happens here so far. No eliminations yet, but the plant is going down. Spike Potentially, planted. Arjun and Yo Benito are going to find two picks early on into the spike planning. And now it is going to be an absolute sweep so far for Donna's Girl South. We'll see how much more SC through it can do. They're going to swing the corner right there. It's kind of a tight corner to swing as well. Nyx is going to take down another. And Cobra with this... Uh, with this Vandal in a dream here, peaking uh, almost all members of Downers Grove. Uh, Downers Grove has one left. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I'm, I've got the, got the switch here a little bit. Looks like I think uh, the overlay might be switched on stream as well. We'll take a look at that and get that switch. And uh, I'll take the TPs out. Not much else is going to happen this round potentially. Hopefully no one's gonna peek that corner there. And Cobra will live with the Vandal. Yeah, that's overall gonna, not too bad. Not too bad, but <laughs> still down 3 don't want to be there, and South is struggling a little bit here on the defensive side on a map they typically do very, very well on. Uh, still Jelly Welly top fragging as you typically see four down or South with a three and three there. That round South bought heavy, but just didn't get the defense that they needed losing to a more of an econ sides sd 308 and ironically south plays econ rounds like that and is pretty well known for just not being able to do anything on actual buy rounds and losing on econ absolutely i like the skin here yeah, it's like under the sea kind of scenario one is going to go down from cobra using that uh that vandal that cobra was able to save from last round Chunk is going to try to find something, but is going to be taken down by Grunt. Cobra's going to take another on B site. We'll see. We did hear the TP, though. There is going to be at least one TP, and they do know. They're going to play a little bit more forward here. Teleport's ready. As the Red Turtle, making sure that A is safe and sound. The blind is going to go through, but not full blind quite yet. The Red Turtle is going to take down Grunt there. Oh, actually, Jelly Welly able to take down one as well. Now we're in a 3v1 scenario, flipped on the side of 
down this grove that should have the advantage here for this round next to makes a decision are we going to save or are we going to keep going maybe going to be taking the 1v3 depends on how confident he really is here 30 seconds left looking awfully scary 55 health 16 health left now Ooh, very close didn't quite get the uh the line up there Thrifty. Very close nonetheless. Yeah, Thrifty, something you hear a lot for Downer South. Like I mentioned earlier, they seem to have a lot of trouble on buy rounds, and then they get to these econ rounds where they have so much less economy, and then just win with stingers and revolvers. As they, they're they a really nice underdog team that is always able to come back from a money loss or a low round there, as we're going to see probably, yeah, another full buy for both teams, and they're, they're going to switch sites or stay with their first site here as SD308. Looks to head B site and South keeps Jelly in the back as they normally do here. I definitely agree. It looks like they're going to be basically equivalent of Silva darting right over by mid side of the map. They aren't going to find anyone. The peak yeah. is going to actually reveal at least one because of that shot. Now they know there are a couple going down B long. In fact, they're using utility now, so they know absolutely that people are coming down B long. It's going to be a B push, but a nice defensive ultimate use right there. But Cobra is going to take down one as Wing Ding does take down Jelly Welly right after he uses ultimate. But Chunk's going to find one as well. Nyx and Ty both <laughs> taking members of the enemy team out. And now there's 3v2 scenario in favor of Downers Grove South. Will they be able to take or at least keep B site safe? Bring them down. C308 needs to come up with a plan here. I mean, honestly, if you have Spike, you might want to TP here. They know that potentially all three are going to be on site. Maybe they don't want to risk it. Yeah, that Spike is on top of Crate, unfortunately, for them. Oh, is it? Ah, yeah, that's that's going to be pretty rough to grab. But actually, now with the evening, the odds. And as I say that, Nix's teammate is going to go down after the headshot. So now it is a 1v2 scenario. I think pretty confidently going to be taking down the Red Turtle. And now with a 3k, looking for one more to open up the round. The sky is opened up with his ultimate. And he's going to find the fourth. Cobra goes down to Nix. Excellent game so far by Nix. Just South completely unable to finish off a 3v2 there. Even with Spike, they couldn't get it done. As Nyx is going absolutely wild right now for the side of SD308. 12, 1, and 1. I think that's almost as... <laughs> that's, all, that's about two or three less than the entire <laughs> South team combined as two alts, and it's only round, five, only round six now. Yeah, that is going to be an absolute pain Double point for Downers Grove South as they continue on to this game. How are they going to handle Nyx as he just continues to pop off here? Smoke's down. Absolutely. We're going to see more A-side push, uh, which they haven't done so far yet. But we'll see how this one works. It looks like Showers might be the name of the game as Arjun does take down Jelly Willy. Yo Benito is going to go down to Ty as well, actually using the Guardian up from Heaven. The TP is going to play him safe, but no, Arjun was actually waiting for that TP as well. SC 308 so far with the advantage four on two for this site take. Cobra from behind actually able to find Grunt. So now will he be able to do anything else? Arjun with a 3K on the round so far, potentially looking for the fourth. Lots of utility here being used against Cobra. It's gonna be hard for Cobra to get around all of this. It's gonna be jumping over, but not exactly at the right time as Nyx knows when to peek we'll find the last elimination for those attackers. Absolutely, SD308 just playing a more aggressive team that doubt South is, South is kind of paying for leaving two on site and one in back as it tends to work against more passive teams, but this SD308 team is very clearly very aggressive and willing to just go in and not really care and get behind enemy lines and such as we're going to see more a heavy site this time as south is kind of looks looks like they're more retiring that idea of having a guy all the way back in spawn but we're going to see if they can get a hold here after being down five to one I've got your you know arjun does have alt here so this could potentially be an opening up for uh for arjun i mean they do have a, it's, it's a greatly offensive alt. lechonk is going to be caught in the showers and not exactly anything to do but going to take down lechonk anyway with the rocket so now it's a four versus four, three versus three, three versus four scenario. Excuse me, the Red Turtle is going to take down Winding, and Ty is going to have the counter rocket to take down the enemy rays. And now it is a, again, or 3v1 scenario, excuse me, for Grunt. 
will he find an opportunity to get away out of this situation it's looking hairy already not really really just out of options there absolutely south countered that reina alt well it's being in the right spot too just being in bat two of them being in bathrooms for again another unconventional strategy kind of just waiting for them to get in there but south that actually paid off for south only losing one of the reina alt retaliating with one of their own getting two and keep getting them caught into a corner the south made a really great counter push on objective there to take back that site as i guess st308 had it for a few moments but st308 looks like they're going to be returning to b site where they've had more success and haven't really lost a round so far you want to play let's play yeah it definitely looks like two ultimates are going to be used both chamber alts are going to be used on both sides so we shall see as far as alt economy goes they're pretty much even one being used right now and one on the wings will they find argent's actually being really sneaky running into one but not quite finding any shots either way minute 15 left on the round will they find anything as the red turtle just taking down yo benito with chambers alt here now it look kind of seems like they're playing offensive on both sides here so gonna have to dedicate themselves to one could be oh here's the molly gonna go straight yep. to tp like his headed towards a though yep yep their rotation onto a is now red by down this grove south so we do see a lot of people kind of running around it looks like sky is going to use her ultimate but ty is going to take down grunt now this is where the plant potentially goes down as they know where the default is and they are just going to spam straight through the smoke potentially spelling disaster for sc 308 as they keep on going cobra is going to take down nyx and arjun is going to find one more but not before lechonk takes her out as well that was grove south to pick up the round Great job by DGS there to get behind and just overwhelm from different angles here. As you saw that stop on plant, excellent match knowledge, excellent map knowledge there for default and where it's planted. As uh, you saw the Red Turtle with that op. The Red Turtle has been very good with this op so far or in the matches I have seen any of them play. As, uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Banners Grove South as I hope they get back here into this as we're gonna see more of an econ round which didn't actually go too well for the side of Downer South at this B site with more AV and A heavy defense here. Let's see how this one plays out. They know, they at least potentially know that B is being pushed out. They know the utility is being used, definitely. So hopefully we're going to see a rotation here sooner rather than later. As I say that, they start to move. LeChonk is going to take down two, but not before being taken down by Gun. Spike is down, as they know. Potentially in vision as well. Yo Benito taking down the Red Turtle as we watch Jelly Welly here <laughs> potentially take on three. Spike is, is down Spike again. Down, Cobra finding Gunt. 2v2 scenario, but as I say that, the Guardianship precision from Arjun. And Arjun says, you know what? We're just going to jump through the portal and uh, we'll find an opportunity somewhere else. Yeah, it's just gonna. Ooh. Oh, that actually okay. might. <laughs> this that actually might screw uh, up the timing here, and not gonna yeah. have spike time. But we'll see how this plays out. Stop to pick up a piece of candy. Not quite able to uh, get the plant down early enough, potentially. But they don't know. Ooh, this is actually really bad for Arjun. They don't know that. It's, oh, oh, there it is. What an intelligent play by Cobra there. Absolutely not forcing a push as using that uh, using that util to get some more time. As I guess Cobra, I may have, I guess Cobra may have been a little confused too. Cobra's an intelligent player, probably knows that they stopped somewhere along the way. But that getting that ultimate point is great in the long run, not great for that round. As South comes closer to evening this match, and we're gonna see more center push again, which didn't work out last time for SD three away. But we'll see where they can do here as both teams both teams full buy with full armor here. Uh, and we see another a heavy, very a heavy defense from South. Oh. Yeah, opening up with the, uh, the ultimate here actually going to be... Oh, wow. Ty, what an excellent shot on Arjun with the Vandal. Now, just right off the bat, Downers Grove South is going to have the advantage here on this round. Both teams, as you mentioned, evenly bought as Gun is going to make the odds even. Four versus four. Teleport's ready minute left in the round 
They're gonna see Shot. the yeah. rotation Face from SP3 away back to A site. Oh, there is the ultimate gonna be used on to A site. So now everybody's gonna be rotating A as they get to plant down as well. Nyx finding a place to plant. Time to defend the spike. Jelly Willie's gonna take down Yo Benito. So now it's a 4v3 for Downers Grove South. Shall see where the rest of the team goes. Looks like three are gonna come from heaven. Red Turtle potentially running into some danger here. They know it's around the corner and a great use of utility. He's gonna reveal one, reveal two. And now it is a 2v2. And as I say that a 1v1 scenario, Cobra does get her ultimate now as well. Just based off of that kill, she's gonna be using it there. Oh, just heads up play by Gunt there. Gunt, 4K there. Great job to defend that spike. Doesn't, nobody else was gonna do it. So Gunt did it themselves as we see a, another round that Oswe, or I guess Oswe goes be the right now. Yeah. <laughs> They're both in the same stand. Oswego does a great job there to defend that spike. Grunt just taking advantage, knowing that probably Cobra wasn't going to be ready, and that fake plant, or full, I guess, commit to plant, didn't really work out for Cobra. And that aggressiveness really paying off for the side of SD-308, as we're going to see a, a B heavy push here and an A heavy defense from South, but with a quick rotation from Scott. Yeah, as you say that, a very quick rotation, as Gunt is going to take down the Red Turtle. And again, starting off this round though, Donna's Grove South is going to be at a disadvantage. Five versus four as the ultimate is going to be used by Raze and find one in the tunnel. It's not a good place to be if Raze is ulting. So that is unavailable there. Picking up different weapons, different types of guns just to spray into the smoke and see if they can find anybody. And uh, Ty is pretty much the only one left. In, uh, Donna's Grove, Downer Grove, excuse me. Their only hope. I guess never say never, but it's odds are looking a little bit grim here for Ty. Yeah, I think there's not much else to say about this one. As the Bulldog ADS is not going to quite work out for them, and Yobanito is going to take down Ty to end the round. Last round. We mentioned this about El when we were casting Elgin and Hersey. Momentum can really swing things, and you saw there SD308 not letting South get back into this game, winning two in a row, keeping this game a little out of hands for the Mustangs here, but we're gonna see the Mustangs are close to a swap and this team plays much, much better on offense overall stat wise. Uh, nearly, only really beating Taft because they had to, or only really losing to Taft because they had to play defense twice first, but this South team is you not to, to be, play, be let's play. really not to be underestimated as they head towards the B site uh, with a full team as South stays with a little, right, little, little late rotation. I've got your trail. Lots happening here. Lots of ultimates being used now as well. Sky's ultimate's gonna find no one quite yet, but they do know exactly where they are. Ultimate can be used as well. Lechonk taking down Arjun first. Yo Benito taking down Lechonk. And now an absolute clinic being ran by Yo Benito on ST308. And now it is Ty's last chance here on the side. See what he can do. Going around the back potentially. You know, Gunt is very low, but holding that chamber ultimate. So it's kind of a, really, if anyone, whoever lands the first shot really should be the, in the most trouble. Right? Absolutely. Well, unless, oh, yep, they, they did spot him, yep. But they know, oh, didn't quite get to see it, but <laughs> Gunt did dig down Ty. Yeah, the audio is enough the there. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, we can't look. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I guess <laughs> our observer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> our observer gave us a noob, so that's okay. Absolutely. No, no problem. So tell me tell, tell me about, about Donna's Grove's top fragger here. T tell us a little bit more about Cobra. Well, Jelly, well, top fragger Cobra. Cobra actually plays a little bit inconsistently, but is a very, very excellent player. Cobra has been there and second fragging for Jelly Welly, but has had a little bit of trouble getting the kills and being 100% there every single match, uh, having to get subbed out last week versus uh, last, yeah, Tuesday versus Leiden with other responsibilities but Cobra's very, very good and Cobra and Jelly Welly are a wonderful combination that play really, really well together Good little intel there as the pistol round begins, Raze, ult, or Raze excuse me, grenade is going to be used as one for one, Gunt's going to take down the chunk Jelly Welly picking up a kill as well now 
four versus four scenario on this pistol round. About a minute and 20 left as they do catch the lurker in the back. Jelly Welly is going to go down to the Obanito. The Red Turtle is going to take down the Obanito, actually. So, ow, again, we're evened up. Three and three. Minute left in the round. Looks like potential rotation here. So you go rotation more to the other side? Yeah, no, 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 yeah, from the other side. Yeah. I'm watching more. Ray's, yeah, move around. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be rotating B and... Uh, Fade might actually know a little bit about this as Fade is going to stick around onto B site just to be maybe an earshot distance of that spike being planted. Yep. Seems that they figured it out as Ray's heads towards B site. Yeah, it does look like there is going to be a rotation. They will keep one on A just in case of a double rotation, but now they hear the spike being planted and the movement starts. 30 seconds left in the round, spike is planted, so now it is just all up to the bomb timer. Oh, and the Red Turtle with an excellent shot on the Arjun. Downers Grove South has the advantage here as they come onto the site, but not quite yet as Wingding is going to take down Ty. The spike is left alone, but angles are being played. Having to push one up. They don't know where the last one is, but Cobra is actually going to find both. Absolutely then, excellent play by Cobra there. Just, I think that may have been a collateral. I'm not 100% sure if you yeah, even I'm not quite sure. Yeah, I, I, those, but <laughs> I, I heard one nice shot, collateral. two people were down. I'm not sure what happened. Excellent way to just stay alive and stay on that site because they need that round. They want to get up early. They want to stay in econ and they want to not be forced to have to buy with lower money and wait to the third round to maybe full buy. But you're still going to see a bit of a save, not going all, all in as they could, but. Uh, you're gonna see another a shorty, more shorty than classic, which is not what you see pretty often from SD 308. As the round continues here, a very quick A take. Ty is gonna take down two though. Planted. But now SD 308 is actually only have three to defend this spike, so it's gonna be a little bit difficult for them to take advantage of that as the shorty doesn't quite work out for Wing Dang. The Red Turtle finding another elimination this round. Here. Looks like Gun does know, and it looks like another shorty kill we're gonna see Last on this round. Standing. Oh, couldn't quite tell that Cobra was running around the corner there. Absolutely, like I mentioned earlier, the South team can be really, really aggressive, and we saw that there a full Stingers Spectre push that only resulted in one member of South falling there. And wow, I mean that was an excellent push. They just ran in, and SD308 had no idea what to do with it as they just kind of walked in and kept uh, they kept walking with the specters which is a little bit of a, a little bit of an unconventional strategy walking while you right shoot here. but with specters i mean anything can happen right here there as i think we're actually still going to see we have to see another save from sd 308 here Sneakily, sneakily walking around pretty much all around the map it looks like if you look on that mini map there it's almost like a five point Where will they go? They did use a bit of utility to find one member. Utility, actually, smokes are going to go down onto B. The Rays is still sitting by A, so it's going to be kind of interesting to see. There's another smoke we use in that window. As I mentioned, you're seeing these very strange strats from Downers Grove going from 100 miles an hour to a very, very slow push here. Yeah, it definitely throws off the tempo. I can, I can see as an opponent being really difficult to adapt here. Oh, they still have no idea. Arjun. Yeah, it looks like Rays might peak Rays here at showers. As a spectator, this is absolutely killer because <laughs> you just don't know exactly when someone's going to peak. He's maybe sure he saw something. The grenade is going to go down and they're going to see him as well. And there's the, actually great work from Arjun. Going to be able to go around and you almost think that Rays would have said something, but a 3K for Arjun. Arjun is absolutely on fire. We're going to throw the grenade in the choke potentially. See if there's anybody else that they can pick up. And actually, oh, Arjun is going to go down. Not going to find any more eliminations this round. And the Spectre from Long Range isn't quite working. Gonna whip out the pistol real quick. Didn't quite find what they were looking for, but 
SD 308 will take the round. Yeah, you saw there Jelly Welly with a Spectre only. <laughs> uh, South took a little bit of a, a little bit of a, still another econ round there. South telling me each and every one of their players referring to me and absolutely making sure I mentioned it. They love the Stinger and the Spectre so much. They, oh, okay. <laughs> a lot of them telling me that they have easier times and they have much, way more fun. And they, this team plays for fun. This team loves to have fun. This team is just they kind of... They're in it for to win, obviously, but they take having fun very seriously. As we see, they're all running in and having a great time. As we see more A heavy push from South here with that Sky in and that B heavy defense for the SD 308. And that is not absolutely the way to do it. Gotta have fun in these games. Be competitive, but have fun, for sure. Oh, a lot of utility being used on this A push. We do know for sure it's an A push. Arjun could not find that elimination on Jelly Welly just with the better gun, unfortunately. And Nyx is gonna find one as well. So now it is a four versus four scenario yet again. A lot of angles being held here. Nyx is gonna take down the Red Turtle. A lot of action here on A-side. LeChonk taking that wing thing. The Marshall is not gonna quite work out. Jelly Welly is trying to find something and he does. On to Nyx. Absolutely. Great round for Downers Grove South. Full buy. They finally got money. They say That save round may have helped them a little bit. As their economy is looking absolutely great if they can keep up winning here. But as you can see, ST308 having to resort to another econ round. But as the other econ rounds they've played, South has struggled a little bit as ST308 has also struggled with South's econ rounds. So both teams have had the right guns, but still just maybe can't pull it out. Here is we see a B heavy defense from SD 308, a very B heavy defense and a very B heavy push, and we're gonna just I guess just see how this plays play. out. It does look like it was maybe a little bit telegraphed somehow. As... Oh, oh, <laughs> that uh, the bomb buddy got a little bit too close. Looks like some healing is gonna have to be used there, but they do know exactly where Diamond Grove South is gonna be attacking from. So now SD 308, nice to find. An opportunity <laughs> looks like they want to <laughs> rotate, but they can't quite get out yet. <laughs> so there's a rotation. Oh, but Arjun actually knows that there's going to be one member at least, and another member at least damage as Jelly Welly's going to take down Arjun. Imagine an Odin there. Crazy. Uh, they're going to absolutely <laughs> win, but you do need to win the rounds before and get the money. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Spike Spike's going to be planted. What a shot from Gunt. Actually, Gunt is just having an excellent past couple rounds here, trying to find I've got your opportunity train. for their team. A chonk taking down Yo Benito. Ty finding Wingding on the side there. Wow, Ty just knowing exactly where the rest of the team is. Dallas Grove South really playing with the tempo here. I see through wait. They know that they have to defuse at some point. They know exactly where they might be. The grenade's gonna come down. Oh! <laughs> Couldn't quite get out of the way of the grenade. Uh, you'd have lost if you did, so I guess. <laughs> yep. Hard, 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 hard play there for uh, Gunt, who has been playing. You mentioned a very two good rounds. So you see Nick still staying on top of the team. 17 kills, 9 deaths, 5 assists. Great job so far for the SD308 player as well. To South again, another great push, keeping the tempo in their favor, deciding how fast this match goes. Is we're gonna see another extremely a heavy push from the Mustangs here. Yeah, as you mentioned, a heavy push. Expect a lot of action here as Nyx is gonna already take down Cobra. That might be a little bit bad for Downs Grove South as their top fragger is going to go down early on to the round. They see a rotation here. Wow! Gil Benito with an excellent shot at the Red Turtle. This is a round that SC308 sees we can take, if any. Rocket is going to go wide and not going to find anyone quite yet. Jelly Welly finding one actually with the Molly. And Yo Benito finding four for the round. Just excellent play there, catching that aggressive push off guard, landing shots, that absolute one tap right onto the Red Tur Turtle. Uh, there's not much South can do there other than just collect what you have, collect your losses, and move to the next round, as that was just excellent, excellent play from Benito, who sits middle of the team. As we're seeing very equal kills here, most members comparable to other members, but South doing a little worse here, obviously, as they are are losing, but are still playing extremely well and fighting in this game after there. starting off down five to one, where you never want to be. 
Absolutely agree. It looks like the this round is good. Oh. Okay, I see it was a double grenade. I was like, ah. How did that grenade come back around as Cobra's gonna take down Gunt early with the Guardian? Now, they were actually kind of looking for a rotate initially, but I'm not sure exactly what they're gonna do now. It's, it might be a little bit of a fake here, but they have no one on B. So, you know, both teams are, are very intelligent as to where, uh, and very privy, I, I suppose, to, to, you know, rotations here, so. Yeah, both teams trying see. to play mind games with each other here. Yep. Looks like Raze and Fade almost saw each other there on a lot. Not actually quite sure. I think it's still going to be A, of course, as yeah. more utility is going to be used. Fade is going to actually not rotate because oh. they're all going to go straight through the teleporter, but they don't know that Fade is waiting and finds one with the operator. Ty actually going down to that op kill. So now it is again 4v4 scenario. We do know. Sky ultimate being used, and now the ultimate fade ultimate can be used as well. Decayed and mark for that time. And blinded. Oh my goodness, this is Valorant at its peak. Yo Benito taking down the chunk. And Nyx taking down the red turtle now. Defuse is gonna start, but they don't know exactly what to do. And it's gonna stick, but that's it. Yeah, Cobra can't get back in time. For whatever reason, wasn't there. I'm not 100% sure why, but South just got beat by about three alts, about 12 flashes, and everything that <laughs> everything that SD308 had in the bag there. Is they only got one alt left now, starting the round with four. So that's yeah, that is <laughs> that is a clip that you show a Counter Strike player, and you go, yeah, you want to play Valorant? Here's what it looks like, and they're like, nah, yeah, that's I'm good. That's exactly what I think personally. I am a heavy, heavy <laughs> CS player. I do not play Valorant all that much, and things like that make, make me a little afraid of playing the game at a competitive <laughs> level as we see a, a heavy push for the Mustangs and a B heavy, a very B de aggressive defense that may not play out for SD308. Well, Arjun throwing... Oh, actually, did not throw the, get a chance to throw the grenade. It's going to be used as well. The fade ultimate is going to be used on A. Now there's actually a lot going on. Ray's actually jumped all the way through the site. And now it's going to be finding one potentially, as I know she is in the line of sight, but was potentially blinded by your teammate there. Not quite sure where else they could do it. Two a line, but two swing. One goes down. Actually, Nyx is going to take down the Red Turtle as well, and the TP is going to be used. So SC308 with the five-man advantage, and uh, really just chunk trying to get out as much as possible. They're going to throw the blind onto B, and they remember that one has an op. So how are they going to be able to beat this? Oh, nice patience from Jelly Welly is going to find Wingding, trying to get their team to even up the odds. But as I say, that Gunt is going to take down Jelly Welly on A site. Spike is still safe with one. This guy is about half HP, but the operator is going to be... Oh my goodness. That was a great swing, honestly, from, from uh, uh, SC-308. Yeah, South kind of not committing to a full rotate there. Kind of just going to mid, consolidating about it in that B, that B, B mid, I believe it's called. And just being, coming back, getting absolutely wiped by the fact Jelly Welly wasn't able to stay alive. Hoping Jelly Welly would stay alive to That's keep that push alive, but kind of dead in the water there with four on site. Two left, Tramon trying to plant as we're seeing an excellent, excellent game from SD308 here as a team playing together, defending well, not over, not over rotating, which we see a lot from teams at this level. But as we see an A, B heavy push for South, yep, A heavy push as you, or excuse me, B heavy push as you mentioned. The op they do know, Yo Benito is going to be opping down B long. So more than likely, actually, they are just going to push it anyway. They're like, ah, we'll, we'll challenge that. Why not? We've used our utility. We know that you have to back off. And the, the Spectre buy here, again, as you mentioned, <laughs> this team loves their, uh, their use of, loves their, uh, their early buys as well. Smokes down, as we mentioned, five versus five so far. TPs are going to be used. Ray's going to alt. And now Nyx is going to take down two, Ty taking down one. Ray's did alt somewhere, and there it is. Arjun taking down Ty. Jelly Willy taking down Wing Day. Now it is actually on the side of SC308. It's looking very favorable. Fade is going to find potentially one. They didn't quite call it out, so there was kind of a miscommunication there from SC308. Had Fade in their line of sight, so now Fade, not with a whole lot of HP, 26 HP, a Vandal, and a Dream. 
sees the spike. Arjun just gonna play that corner really well, and that's gonna be a 3k to end the game. Excuse me. SC 308 taking down Dodgers Grove South for game number one. Absolutely. South struggling a little bit there. Not maybe good crosshair placement overall. They were playing well, couldn't get it done, unfortunately, as we saw Nix and Arjun completely own that round playing extremely well but you can see a few there south slacking a little bit in the kills department with their initiators still having good games individually though but we're gonna have to see the south team pick it up if they want to do it but if you mention if you think about taft they started off their game against taft losing i believe 13 to 2 map one and wow. they don't exactly they don't exactly the south team doesn't give up the south team plays how they want to play they are not one of those teams that will go down early and be out into the game much like elgin we saw on icebox last week still in my mind presence with just how incredible a 10 to 2 comeback must be yeah absolutely and it looks like we will be headed to fracture here after this quick break we'll take action oh maybe not looks like the teams actually just want to go right ahead let's see if right. um if our if our teams are waiting but as you mentioned yeah kind of analyzing back on that game if you were to tell the Downers Grove South kids right now, your teammates essentially, uh, what they could do better this next round, what are they going to do? I think playing more as a team, committing to pushes, and I guess I guess it really came down to crossfire placement. Don't get nervous. Uh, just you guys are good. You guys should be having fun out there. You guys are great players, and it's important to remember that as you go down, is it's you guys are you are just as good as this other team, but it all comes down to your own mental state, your own plays your own everything i tell this team to just pick it up try and do a little better because they've been in a great spot playing wonderfully but it's just come down to mental mistakes for this mustangs team yeah absolutely see some picks here ko actually being hovered actually for both teams is, is ko a normal for fracture i forget uh i forget if it's normal for fracture but uh both teams a lot of teams typically have ko uh, on, I guess Fracture should be a pretty good map because there's is a lot of just kind of tunnels and walls. That's gonna you're gonna see that a lot probably. Definitely, definitely. Has land been mentioned on stream yet? I don't think so. Do you want to talk about it? Uh, well, I feel like you <laughs> you're more you're more qualified than I am. What? I thought you planned the land. <laughs> Wait, who's been playing in the land the whole time? What are you talking about? I don't know, yeah, Mr. So, Executive Director. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about land. Uh, obviously, uh, playoffs and lands are always what, what is super exciting, uh, not only about the rest of the competition, but IHSEA in general. The land events that we host, we always really look forward to hosting. And so, uh, as we announced earlier in the week, uh, later than we wanted to, but later in the week nonetheless, uh, we announced that NIU DeKalb is going to be the host of the IHSEA 2022 Valorant State Championship Series. And so that'll be a really great time. Obviously, you have to be top 16 in varsity in order to qualify for the LAN event, but every team is invited to spectate. So please, if you have the time on that Saturday, come on through and, and watch your favorite teams play some Valorant. You could also meet a guy like me. You could meet you could meet the wondrous Goog as we see a as we see a pretty even match here. A lot of similar picks. The only two going differently is probably that jet pick and that fade pick for the side of Downer South, com composed on the other side of a raise and a K. And, sorry, a raise and a chamber pick. As you tend to not see teams without a chamber, but like I mentioned, South's a little bit unconventional. They like using strategies not everybody else uses. And just to clarify again, top 16 makes it to playoff, and right top there. eight makes it to the LAN event. So I just wanted to wanted to briefly mention that. I was kind of thinking back, like, what did I say again? Yeah. 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 Top eight make it to LAN, yeah. Top 16 I'm, is playoffs. It sounds very exciting, and I'm very looking forward to casting there. But we're going to see a more B-sided push, I believe, that site is having a little bit of a production issue here for sd <laughs> Yeah, we're going to call that B-Site. If it's not B-Site, someone will be sure to correct us in the Twitch chat as LeChonk using some utility here on the pretty much the entire team. Pistol round is going to be uh, kind of activated here as we continue to go. Spike is actually already being planted, but no one has gone down yet. Lots of shots, but not a lot of shots planted as Turtle is going to take down one and two for the side of Diamond Grove South. And now Arjun is going to be taken down one jelly welly taking down yo benito and that's going to be it for the round all they have to do is defuse and i have a feeling it's not going to be a problem 
a little bit of mental mistake there, I guess, for Arjun, but uh, not much you can do while you're blind. Maybe aim a little lower, but I guess when you're blind and on a ramp, a little bit of an issue there. But South just overwhelming again on those pistol rounds and those early rounds, always coming through with such aggressive pushes, maybe followed by the slowest push that you've seen in the history of Valorant. So <laughs> this team varies a lot. So. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, my, my question to you is, is that something that your team has, or excuse me, that Donald's Grove South has practiced, or is that just something that comes naturally for you guys? Like, hey, let's just run it. Yeah, I guess it is a little bit more like that, is our practices are very, very casual. They're a lot, we have a lot of fun. We mix teams with our JV team, and we Bumps tend down. to try and work on personal improvement and improvement as a team uh, a with the varsity, but we're seeing an A-sided push here from SD308. Ooh, Wingding going to be taking down the Red Turtles. That's through a way it's going to continue on to A site. And now lots of movement going down. Cobra taking down Wingding. As I mentioned, Jelly Welly taking down Arjun and Gun. Finding a shot onto Cobra. That's a 3v3. Sorry, 3v2. 3v1 scenario as LeChonk finds one more. And that is going to be another crucial round for Downs Girl South early in this game. Absolutely. As they catch him in defender side A, just in that tunnel just completely wiping them unable to get out of that tunnel south locking it down and trapping them inside but i mentioned south a very casual team we'd like to have a lot of fun fun here but we do we do learn a lot as a team we do practice a lot as a team these practices have typically very frequently this team even plays off practice by themselves with other members of the team and we're a very 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 much a brotherhood here at dgs as we're going to see a very very split push and a very very split defense jelly welly sitting at spawn waiting for the push you did mention they like to play for fun but hey winning is fun as they say so the practice does make sense as you mentioned lots of scattered pushes here one going underneath this is peak fracture <laughs> right now as we're seeing in this game number two as Ty does turn the corner Arjun trying to find some shots but they're going to be unfortunately taking the lower half of that trade at 17 HP nice little jiggle peek there from around the corner there for LeChonk as they know that now at least two are going to be waiting on the wings Ray is actually going all the way across potentially supporting her teammates at A as we see the Red Turtle just kind of waiting, getting maybe a little bit antsy <laughs> to see where they will be. The first pick is going to go to Yo Benito on to Ty. As we mentioned, there are some low HP bars already just from earlier in the round. Spike, Spike is going to be actually planted without much contention here on A site. Some shots going to be taken through some flashes as well as a 5v4 scenario in favor of SC308. Can they find something? As I mentioned that, there's going to be a lot more to go down. And now Downers Grove South needs to find a way to get back into this, and they won't. SC308 picking up the round, round number three. Yeah, maybe looking for a more, uh, better counter push there as they kind of gave up the objective after one died and the one uh, turtle, I believe, sat and kind of just was like, eh. Don't really wanna, don't really wanna do this by myself. Waiting for a counter push as the team came back from B site, but it doesn't fully work out there. But South still in a good position, as we <laughs> see, quite an excellent spray for Grunt. Yeah, as you mentioned, that's uh, that's some some fun stream shenanigans as every team does get to go through. As uh, we might be seeing a potential B push here, as we see a lot of members. This team just kind of pushed forward. SC 308 trying to find some unison and some organization. So they do have one kind of sitting behind. Ooh, the shot's going to be taken already. They do have, I believe, two members on A for the side of Donald Trump South. So this might be something. Oh, yeah, one shot over. Yeah. yeah. We shall see. Yeah, Jet is still waiting on A just in case. But oh, look at the Rays on the mini map. I just. Love looking at the mini map here as to where they're going to be headed, um, especially on a map like Fracture, it really does help. So, we do have a, one ultimate here ready. I believe this is Breach. Could be wrong. Could be a different version. You're right, you're right, you're right. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, one's going to go down. Cobra's going to take down Yo Benito, and now it's going to start the round through SC 308 is going to lose absolutely remaining. everybody in a matter of seconds and Downers Grove South is going to pick up a pretty clean round. 
Yeah, I mean, that's slow push. Even with two defenders still on A, that's a complete wipe for South there. Just getting them off guard. I mean, South was ready for that push and knew it was coming at some point. Not getting antsy, not getting really too excited and pushing in, going for an offensive strat. They just waited on defense, waited for it, stayed calm, got it done. As we're seeing, again, another Jelly Welly game that's going well. Another game going well for Cobra as the South team is looking very strong in the early going here. As we're going to see a A-sided push with the chamber up top. Yeah, it does appear that way. You never know with these teams. SD308 and Thomas World both being really good at rotating, but Rays is absolutely in there. No question about it. As one for one, going to be used down at 124. Back in the round. That's just some early aggression. Gunt's gonna take down the Red Turtle Tie, taking down two. One enemy remaining. Now, Fight suddenly, SC308 a. has no more people to rely on. <laughs> and uh, Donald's Grove yeah. just gonna pick up another win. I mean, it was just, it was, it was a four on five, and then it was, a, and then there was nobody left for SD308, it felt, as it kind of just went so, so, so very fast. And it just, I mean, South got that push. They were waiting. They were just, Sticking to their guns, sticking to their angles, getting to the angles, and just completely wiping SD-308. They weren't ready for that as they tried their, their own hint of aggression there and just kind of got beat in every single sense of the game as we're going to see another A-sided push. South kind of just running around mid, thinking about where they should go. We shall see. Red Turtle, ooh, holding a great angle. That jet on the op, that is going to be a crucial pick as Nyx is taking down the tie as well. But actually, this might be spelling trouble for Down of Grove as the utility is going to be used. The Obanese is going to take down three on the round and looking for one more. Potentially, LeChamp not particularly in a place to defend Site A. So Site A is going to be planted. Maybe giving up a little bit early here for South, not wanting to lose the Vandal and losing that early Econ lead. And just staying alive here, knowing that maybe it's not too probable, especially on A-Site, one of the harder sites to, uh, to take back in the entire game with only really one entry from defender side, unless you want to go all the way around the entire map, in which they tend to realize, and they tend to have eventually four people that can cover every single angle. And this team does have ops, this team has everything. Is Lechonk is just going to give it a little save here. Chunk actually DM me before the game to tell me how much he loves Stingers. So <laughs> oh, He's holding a Vandal. What is this? Uh, well, <laughs> duty calls, I suppose. <laughs> He's on Vandal duty right now. Yeah. Oh, yep, they uh, we're we're hunting for him, but Lechonk is gonna live for the round. A little scared there of Lechonk's spray into the wall chamber. Yo, Benito doesn't really really challenge that. With the literal seconds left. So yeah. they are going to hit another A-sided push. The South looks a little more ready for it this time. Hoping to get similar results to the last two A-pushes that did not go well for SD-308, finishing yeah. them off in less than five seconds of contact. It's a good thing that the Red Turtle does have ultimate up because she does not have any money to be spending on weaponry right now. Oh, spike. Uh, excuse me, knife is going to be used. Does not quite find anybody. But, oh, oh my goodness, those knives are going to be going down, but the uh, ultimate is going to be used onto A side as well. It is an A push for sure as SD-08 just runs a clinic again on the side of Towner's growth. They're not actually going to be able to find one except LeChonk. He's going to find Yo Benito now. Those angles are being held. It's going to be absolutely challenging to get in except the ultimate is going to be used and going to be clearing a lot more. Lao LeChonk evening it up. What a great use of their ultimate there, but is going to go down, unfortunately, to one waiting behind the boxes. They're going to be trying to wallbang, but it's not going to find anything quite yet. Cobra using their flash, just playing this relatively slowly. Gunnet is actually going to go through. Oh my goodness, Cobra with an excellent heads up play. Gunt turned the corner as they were flashed unfortunately not the greatest play uh, to make as you're trying to clutch the round but cobra for downers grove south is going to take this for his team excellent excellently cobra is an intelligent player cobra knows a lot about this game cobra plays smart knows angles knows typical angles and you saw it there but 
Cobra just completely outclassing SD308 there. South takes a 5-2 to two lead and looks to try and take get on the driver's seat of this game and maybe get away with it a little bit. As we're going to see pro uh, probably a little bit of a more econ round here for SD308. If Unless they are going to buy, I, I wouldn't do that there, but it looks like a more must-win round e in the econ sense as you want one play, guy runs a classic. Play. Yeah. Well, he's, he's got his ultimate, so I think he's he just he's got his operator. Yep, he's, he's going to be good for the round, so... Same thing that Jet did last round. He's going to try to do this round. Chamber and Jet obviously being two, two uh, champions or agents, I should say, that are that are good at doing that. We shall see. Actually, it looks like A is going to be the target for SD308, potentially. This wing thing is going to find one on to sight. So now, Utility going to be used, potentially a flash here in just a second. Alt orb can be used, Wingding finding another. Ty finding Nyx. And now, Fade ultimate use. Not a whole lot more else that they could do except for just really get on to site. A lot of utility being used around that particular corner. They potentially know that the ultimate, yep, there's going to be, oh, a swing onto two is not going to find one for Ty and Arjun now. Picking up another kill. Oh no, Yo Benito is going to take down the chomp, and that might spell absolute disaster for the Red Turtle. Ooh, but not before almost finding one. Arjun taking down one, SE 308 taking around. Yeah, a little sloppy on the movement. Still a great place, still a great crosshair placement. Didn't f stop moving, unfortunately, before the Red Turtle there. But we are still seeing South take lose that round there and it's a little bit of an issue there is they have to find an answer to these a pushes that south just hasn't been defending all that well and as personally as a student they i would love, really love to see them figure that out but i guess you have to you keep having to make that risk as if they take b site b sites again another hard one to come back it's a fraction of a hard map to get by but we're gonna see an a heavy push with a little bit of a alert from wing dong on the other side well, Dyer's Grove South does have Brimstone Alt up right now, so they could use that potentially there. Cobra, not quite ready for uh, Wingding to be sitting in that corner. Yeah, Cobra was expecting that knife to hit him if he was there, but right. not a great, maybe great, good placement, just kind of made of the cards. Wrong timing, yeah, happens. You know, it, ha it happens to the best of us as the smokes are going to go down. Ty is going to be sitting in the smoke. They know that they're going to be on B site now. I wouldn't get too comfortable if I was SD 308 as one kill does go down as the, uh, the oh excuse me lots of point on excuse me getting my tongue tied there Gunt taking down Jelly Welly the Red Turtle taking down Wing Ding and now it is a 3v3 scenario on this retake for A planting potentially they tried once before and it didn't quite work out the Red Turtle's gonna find Gunt in the smoke and Arjun finding Ty now the ultimate is gonna be used and not gonna be taken down as the Red Turtle's gonna find the 3k for the round oh but this uh this is this is really intense that's a 1v1 scenario nyx is going to find and dead oh, they oh here. the red turtle <laughs> for downers grove south <laughs> just just finding it absolutely i believe you almost said dead turtle there but clearly yeah, very you know, alive. Just... <laughs> making up very, the last round's alive. miss with a four absolutely wonderful 4k picking it up there for south as a six to three lead as we get closer to the half and well south Playing well there. Like I mentioned, they're not a team to count out once you go down. They do not go down without a fight. As we see Lechonk, Cobra, Ty, and Jelly Welly with an uncharacteristic bottom frag, but still 6, 5, and 4, an excellent stat line. Just the whole team playing together and playing very, very well. I would have to agree there. Jet is going to use her ult now and actually going to be jumping pretty much over the map, trying to find and spot anybody. We use a, pretty much a silver dart for some intel as well. Yeah, we see equivalent from what I understand. And now the KO. Yep, ultimate. Oh my goodness, just actually a ton, 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 ton of ultimates being used here. Brim going to be using his ult. Nyx potentially planning onto site as no one has gone down yet, as I mentioned. Just make me a liar, as we mentioned in our previous stream. Wingding taking down Jelly Willy and Arjun. Yo, Benito. Tons and tons of damage from SE 308 and Downers Grove is actually gonna find two. <laughs> I was about to say Downers Grove is in a lot of trouble, but they're actually not, as the Red Turtles are using a great job of their ultimate there. I think just really intelligent plays, and there's gonna be another one taken down. And the Red Turtle actually clutched this roundup. This might potentially be four, but oh no. 
they are suppressed, so they actually do not have the knives out I yet. Can they that. recast it? Oh, they can recast Aww. it. Oh, not quite as Gunt does take down the Red Turtle. That is just a, a hard place to be if you're trapped there. Yeah, Red Turtle, good play there, but just can't get it done. Kind of just on inconvenient teammate dies. Kind of lose your footing there, lose your direction. As you know, there's one to your right, but you can't exactly keep the one on your left in check. Right. If you watch the one on your right, it creates a hard situation. Great spike defense there by SD308. So we're going to see another B push, which has really, really not been going well for SD308, as they tend to get sight very easily. And then somehow, some way, you see the entire Dino's Grove South team come back with a vengeance and use a lot of util. But Cobra does know they're over there with that knife. Cobra also has a Bucky. Just, uh, just like to mention that. Information is the strongest weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Breach is going to use their ultimate to get onto site. Yo Benito taking down Cobra to open up the round. Now down to throw south. It's going to be down to just four players remaining. They know exactly where Jet is. Like, at least they suspect they suspected, excuse me, and just having a trouble with that word today. As they take down one and potentially another as the smoke goes down, the blind going to be used and just blind firing as they can doing as much as they can no, no, no. and jelly well they're gonna find a kill on the frenzy actually gonna be really interesting for this round oh wing ding taking down the chunk as the other utility uses and goes down wing ding gonna find something potentially gunt is gonna find down ty and sd308 picking up another round sd308 getting back in this game big in struggle the for them has been on b site but south really wants to win this game they don't want to go even after all their, all their hard work as a team uh, is we're gonna see arjun and nix actually both top fragging the last game kind of struggling here for the side of sd308 arjun five and ten and nix five and eight uh, yeah it seems like both scoreboards have just completely flipped like the, the top fraggers are just having some issues this round on Absolutely. fracture we mentioned that a lot i think last game too fracture can change how players play and Give us uncharacteristic games. We see wow. every, they know where everybody is now. Yeah, They're what a great night from rotate. Cobra. Like I mentioned, Cobra's an intelligent player and an intelligent guy overall. A really intelligent guy overall is like straight A's or? Yeah, I mean, I believe he won <laughs> yeah, state. Yeah. I believe he won state on the freshman math team. Oh, okay. So he's intelligent, he's, intelligent. He's that that guy yeah uh, he's, he's, he's that guy smart. okay okay gotcha he's got the dog yeah. in him yeah i understand <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> wing ding now on a side it looks like sc 308 is just going to dedicate themselves to a side actually even being caught on the other rotation cobra is going to be taken down yeah. as yeah. jelly welly potentially finds three actually only finds two nix taking down jelly welly shutting him down before you get too hot and it seems like Spike the res planted. will not go down for KO. And it's a 3v3 scenario as Yo Benito finds one with the Appa. Ty was right behind, so they do know where he is. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely intense as Ty is going to try to find something for Downers Real South, but SD308 has the opportunity to even the odds right before the end of this half. Will they do it? Landing shots potentially all over the place. Didn't know exactly where to look, but that is okay. Nyx taking down Ty, and now we're half and half. Six to six at the half, too. Absolutely. Seeing a bit of momentum shift. South is up six to three, and at the half, yep. now they're six and six. As I do need a moment to yep. take a yep. break, but I will let you carry this. Yeah, absolutely. And look, you've told me quite enough, and actually Carson is just telling me right enough about these pistol rounds. It is absolutely crucial for Downers Grove South to pick up the momentum again. Downers Grove South knows how to play these. Oh, oh wait, looks like the, <laughs> looks like the observer's having a little bit of fun here on the ropes. But as I mentioned, you know, these pistol rounds go the way of Downers Grove South often time and time again. And it seems that they know exactly how to play these out. Very scrappy, very run at your face, right click on the, on the classic or even by a shorty. So we'll see exactly what the strategy is as oh, this is actually quite interesting sc308 is going to be playing this super aggressive they're going to counter the aggression with aggression and they find the spike this may spell absolute danger for downers grove south the spike is in a terrible position for them and they actually have no idea how they're going to go around it 
As I say that though, Cobra is actually watching from behind and kind of getting out, finding one actually. So Ty taking down Yobinito. So now this, this is kind of in a weird scenario. We've kind of flipped the map a little bit. They're playing kind of the original sides that they were, except the spike is in a very defensible uh, position for SE 308. I, I just don't, I don't agree with peaking this as SC-308, you have the spike in a really good position, so I, I, I would probably just back off and wait for them to have to come to you, but I, you know, that's, that's the play I would make. What do I know about Valorant? Knife is going to go down. It's going to find two, I believe three. And they are suppressed, but not exactly a whole lot of utility that they would be using right now anyway. It's just a matter of revealing where they are. They all know that they're there. The smoke going to go down and just going to pick up the bomb right away and run straight <laughs> to the bomb. What an absolute heist played. Oh, but actually one goes down as Ty takes down Nick. So the heist doesn't go completely cleanly as one does go down. 13 seconds left to plant the bomb and it hasn't been planted quite yet. Wingding finding a kill and now it is one more on Downs Road South trying to plant the bomb, does not have enough time to plant the spike, and now he's gonna go down. Oswego SD308, excuse me, just finding the win there on that pistol round. Absolutely, Downs Road South kind of robbing the spike there. I didn't catch all of that, but looked like a very strange situation. Lower A on T side there. South kind of got that heist away, but Zero Turtle not 100% sure that they were safe. Just kind of hoping <laughs> that they were. Or didn't get the plant down entirely due to a few shots that made them worry so they got up and moved a little bit but couldn't get the plant completely down not, not really all the south's fault but they're down here for the first time in this game as they look to try and swing this back in their favor absolutely as this continues they'll find one gun finding lechon and Cobra finding gun. So now it is again evened up 4v4 scenario. Not necessarily one favoring the other quite yet. Oh, Jelly Welly with the right click on the classes. It's gonna find Nyx, and that is gotta hurt if you are an SC308 right fan. Jelly Welly finding another the red turtle. And oh my goodness, all those kills just happening within the last five seconds. Not even gonna try to cast that, but what I will tell you is that Down Girl South won that round. We see another great round from <laughs> Jelly Welly is what I can tell you there as well. Uh, but it looked like kind of just a big 3v3 confrontation that ended in two, three SD308, the last three SD308 players dead and two of the other South players dead. And kind of a Mexican standoff, one one left, and it, like a traditional Western uh, at right the end here. of that. Absolutely. Oh, looks like it's going to be a save push. round for SD308. Absolutely, but we are going to see a very heavy B side push, and we know South can be Watch very, very slow. aggressive when they can predict the other team econ. Spike planted. Mm, not a whole lot to say yet, as one does go down. Seven to seven. Arjun just going to try to find something, not quite yet. And surprisingly enough, Fighting a couple kills here on the eco. Down is growth south. Still at the advantage though. 3v2 on this site. Trying to defend it as much as possible. And Oswego 308 is going to be down to one. Chamber. Trying to find that kill. Won't quite find it. Switching back to the classic. As we potentially lose our feed here. Hopefully we do know something going on. And no one does go down. And that is going to be it for the round. Down is growth south. Taking that at one. Yeah. Carson, I can't yeah. quite hear you. Oh, here we go. Now I can hear you. All right. All right. Didn't, didn't quite get it all on the production end here as my internet uh, tries to end me here, but South <laughs> is <laughs> South did end up getting the win there, taking the lead back from the raging SD 308s. 308s. <laughs> Like the 49ers, yeah, cool. but yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a side defense, big for three day three SD three oh eight as we see south with an A side push too. There is a knife potentially going to be used. Actually, the knife is going to be destroyed before it pops. And now just some straightforward shots. Guns actually taking down Cobra and the plant already going down, but the plant is actually canceled. 
as the ultimate is going to be used and Arjun finding two in the lineup there One not quite ready. what you are looking for Five if down, you are a Donald's Grove South fan SD 308 having four up on this round and fade is the only one left I trying to find something anything here in the end of this round and not quite finding it at all yo Benito picking up tie for the defending win a little anxious for me there is south looks like they had that objective didn't finish the plant for whatever reason maybe saw someone call out something happened there and south would stop planning to keep the planter safe but did not work out there thought they had sight that great arjun round there just getting two that walked right behind each other you got to be careful about that but really not much you can do on the side of the mustangs as we are tied in another close-knit match must like much like the last one, this Wingding Get leads this SD308 team towards a defense that really is not looking fo fa favorable here as South runs towards B. Yeah, it looks like South is just going to run at B here. And now the rotation is going to come down, but maybe a little bit too late. But South actually doesn't quite run in quite. Oh, they're waiting for the ultimate to be used. Okay, ultimate's going to be used onto B. Now Arjun's going to take down Cobra to start off the round. We see. Wingding actually has a judge in his hand trying to find something to do. He doesn't quite find anybody looking for that. And SC 308 now with only two members left, I'm going to try to retake this site. They struggle on B on the offensive side. We'll see how they do here defensively. Molly is going to be used. Yo Benito peeking one and finding it. Potentially peeking two. Oh, not quite what he was looking for. And uh, Donald's Grove South is going to tie it up again. Or actually, no, excuse me. They're going to be leading again. They take back the lead. It's Jelly Willy a little bit of... That shoulder kind of distracted Benito there. I don't, I don't think Jelly Willy meant to get a body... Ex part of the body exposed, but right. he yeah. did. And <laughs> saw Ty run around the corner at Mach 4, entirely wiping Benito there, uh, who wasn't ready and still trying to keep that recoil under control. As we see a B-sided push with Cobra on the flank again as KO towards the A-side. I did not mean B-side, I meant A-side. As we see another A-side, very heavy A-side defense here for SD-308. Looks like Yo Benito is going to be concussed. Start off the round. Rest as well is pretty much straightforward utility as the Deagle is not going to quite find anything. The Red Turtle finding one. Yo Benito finding another. Jelly Welly finding Yo Benito and Nyx finding Cobra. So, that's what we're in. We're in a 3v3 scenario here at the beginning of this round. Actually, yeah. Jelly Welly taking down Gunt. Gunt still can be revived here. But we shall see how they play this one out. SC Feel Wait using the ultimate and it's going to actually find one. So now it is actually a 2v1 scenario. And Jet doesn't quite have enough health to find anything. And yeah, unfortunately, it just found in the crack in that smoke. So uh, yeah, this is this is back and forth Valor, if we've ever seen it. Yep, right. We mentioned Elgin Hersey. Three on three was a common theme, is how even both teams were. And both teams are a little hard to gauge. SD308 hasn't really had a consistent top fragger through maps. There wasn't really anybody that you could count on in your head at the start of the map, like Jelly Welly for right DGS2 just stay on top and lead this team in kills but Jelly Willy is a smoker who tends to lead very very frequently which is pretty impressive but you see a lot it's kind of hard to gauge some of these teams they haven't played a lot of games they don't play a lot of games overall but I mean they are playing wonderfully here each of two each of their own right fighting against each other in very very intense ways Definitely. As we say that, there's the A push. As we see, Ty taking down Gunt. That's going to be really good for Downers Spike Grove South. Planted. Spike is planted already, and now it is... Oh, Ty taking down Arjun as well. Downers Grove South in a 5 versus 3 scenario. SC308 having 3 and not able to bring anything out yet. It looks like this is the, the trend that keeps happening. Downers Grove South will get ahead one round. And then lose the next. But as this continues that way, Downers Grove South is going to be ready. Downers Grove South. Excuse me, it's going to be the favorite one. Wow, one of those spectator oh. moments that really, really hurts. Yeah, yeah, definitely. This is this is an angle and a half here. It's a little bit to the right. Okay. Oh, someone is on the side, and that is just going to be it for them. Yep, Nyx is going to save their gun. Oh, he's at least going to try. Wingding does find an exit as well. So oh, not exactly what SC308 was hoping for as far as their economy at the end of that round, but at least they do have one. 
Absolutely. Yes. Just kind of south made a very good push there. Very high knowledge you can see again from this Mustangs team, knowing where they planted and knowing that that wall you can just kind of shoot through, using that to their advantage. You know, plus the massive alt that came down, which definitely <laughs> kept them under that. But we see a lot of assists from the south team as the players who maybe aren't top fragging are contributing very in very big ways here. We've seen Cobra and Lechonk sharing ten kills individually, ten assists individually. A gift. Very slow, eerily quiet beginning of a round here. Like you mentioned, Damage Grab South can go really slow as they head a little towards B side, but haven't committed anywhere yet. It's like. I'm gonna play, play relatively slow. Yeah, South likes to go from Doom Eternal directly into Metal Gear Solid gameplay. <laughs> Either that or. Doom Eternal to Animal Crossing, who knows? It's just really, <laughs> really, really, really quiet and passive as the Fade Ultimate's gonna be used onto B, and here's where the Doom Eternal music starts playing. The heavy, heavy, heavy guitar. Cobra finding two, Ty finding one, and Arjun finding one in return. SC308 now only has two left to potentially take retake the site, excuse me. This might be doomed for SC308, as there's one, there's two. Actually, kind of in a 1v2 scenario, not necessarily something that is absolutely out of the realm of possibility. I'm just gonna, just gonna W key right at him. Oh, Ugh. couldn't quite find him. Hey, you know, Wing Ding had the right idea, I think. We we're just gonna run at him and we'll see. Yep, <laughs> south with the with a push, the strength of a Mick Gordon guitar riff there. Keeping this game alive and getting closer and closer to trying to win this match and bring this over to one on one. Not one on one, game one to game one. Oh, hey, oh. One game to one game. Wow. <laughs> As I stutter over my words and try and announce this, but South at an 11 to 9 lead here. Uh, looking more towards A site here, but you can see literally the entire SD308 team prepared for that A site push. But South's going to go B. That is quite interesting. As South, as you mentioned, might be going B here. Reach Ultimate going to be used. Where will they find anybody? Lechonk doing his best to turn the corner with his teammates there. Arjun's trying to find one, and Arjun finding two. Lechonk finding Yo Benito, and Nyx finding one. This actually might be a round that SC308 may be favored in. As I mentioned, Wingding's going to take the la oh, second to last. Excuse me, Cobra is going down, and now it is all up to the jet on the side of Downers Grove to find anything. Oh, oh. <laughs> What is the call here? I mean, I guess. You just give it your best shot, Red Turtle. Yeah, yep. This is Red Turtle. It's the. Hey. Yeah, it's so I mean, how hype, how hype would it be if uh, the Red Turtle just peeks his corner and you takes could, out all you three? You could jump that box, man. maybe. You could jump off that. You could jump that box, but. Uh, <laughs> you know, not too favorable. This this is where, where the Metal Gear Solid gameplay is. Like we're we're talking like very sneaky. Maybe sneak to get that spike again. Uh, oh, <laughs> unfortunate. Uh, Only a timeout. Oh. Gonna call a timeout here, as they are struggling a little bit here in the late game, and it's that's one of those spectator moments where, as a spectator, you're like, oh, just go run to B, but obviously South yeah. is not in tune with the broadcast and can't really. They see what's going on so right and that's good uh, i mean that's you can't, that's, i mean yeah, that, that's, that's good you know you know best. maybe the team maybe we're the ones you see maybe maybe that was just the best case scenario what if they rotate and they get caught up on on something or other i mean as a spectator of course we get to see the full picture but as you mentioned it's not not quite that easy when you're in game absolutely as you kind of saw Sal trying to defend their spike there in ct spawn with not really, they, they kind of stayed confrontational there and didn't want to disengage, which I think they should have, as I've seen the South team struggle a little bit with, is disengaging at the right time. I mean, you've got Spike, mm -hmm. and there's four people. You know there's four people running directly at you, and you're not running yeah. away. It's kind of a bit of a rough situation there to try and stay in, but South's going to try and recuperate, find a way to win this game, and keep this match alive for themselves, as they've been looking very strong, but it's kind of swaying towards this SD308 side here as this Panthers and Wolves team combined looks to make a strong defense here and a strong case to win this game overall. 
Let's little see. by little. Yeah, we're gonna see a B side push here, maybe for South. As <laughs> they're learning from their learning from their mistakes that they didn't even know they made. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Not, <laughs> not quite. But it looks like the B side push is kind of what they're looking for. Knife gonna be used. Not quite gonna find anybody. Maybe the knife used a little bit too early. Decided SC308. Oh, we do hear an ultimate orb and an ultimate use. Two ultimates gonna be used. El Benito taking down the red turtle. Oh, uh oh. I'm gonna be used an 18 health and a dream. Jelly Welly using the Molly as well. They just naded and mollied that corner until somebody died. Uh, South got objective there quickly due to a very weaker defense there by SC308 stink towards CT. This looks like there's going to be a lot of utility used. Lachonk was playing it very slow and gun taking down Ty. So now it's a 3v3 scenario. Go figure as Lachonk finding Arjun. Can this... Yeah, yeah, absolutely excellent play. The Molly going to be used onto the spike. Oh, and Lachonk taking three. Gun taking down Lachonk. I mean, is, is there anything that, that Gun can do here? I mean, yeah, you eat the Molly. Oh. Oh. Oh, not watching quite the angle. Gun did take down three. And it uh, looks like, hey, you know what? They did take down Jelly Welly. So now it is just an absolute clean slate as far as economy goes. But obviously South, one team yeah. is going to be favored. Yep. South's not going to be too upset there as they still have the money to full buy. Ty, maybe just not enough there to get full shields. But we're going to see if that matters here on this match point where South is going to try and just take this game. But if they don't win here, they're going to be in a really rough spot economy-wise. And if you don't win, you want to save. So you might see maybe a bit of a slower push here onto a site from South, maybe. As they haven't gone a site, it hasn't worked. Maybe they're not guarding it as much. And that seems to be a little bit of the case. But we know this SD308 team rotates fast as we're seeing a two top, three bottom push onto A from the Mustangs here. Right, we do know that South uh, does not have any ultimates up yet, and SC308 does have three, so this is going to be maybe an ultimate diff on this round, but if South can take this without suffering any casualties early on in the round, then it might be okay. As I say that, the Origin's going to take down Cobra. Red, oh, rocket can be used, and oh my goodness, the Red Turtle using the dash to actually avoid the rocket. Absolutely insane Valorant gameplay, as you can see. Wingding. Coming around the corner, Yobanito coming as well. Oh, and there's gonna be the ultimate used onto site. And it's gonna find one. The Red Turtle's actually gonna go down. Lechonk's going down to Wingding. And now it's a 3v2 scenario in favor of Downers Grove South. Will DGS find the upper hand in this potentially last round in game number two? Absolutely. Tie up the series. I was, I was really watching Jelly Willy's left there, but Smoke is down. Is Benito kind of focused on the right side. This may end up just an asterisk. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, oh, Yobanito is going to take down LeChonk as their flash. It is now a 2v2 scenario, but they're running out of time on the spike. And Jelly Welly finding it through the boxes. That is going to be a DGS win. And now we are on to game number three. A little bit of sorrow in the broadcast booth. Uh, who am I kidding? I'd love to see another <laughs> game here from DGS as Jelly Welly leads this Downers Grove South team with LeChonk and Ty as a great, great team effort. Even by Cobra, who bottom fragged, who had 13 yeah. assists, mind you. Who to, yeah. And this South team, as you can kind of see, struggle a little bit in Econ and always has. Jelly Welly always leads them in Econ, but South, a little bit struggling on the Econ, but as you can see, Wingding, Arjun, and Yo Benito sit above them, yeah. even though they won. Definitely. We are going to absolutely take a five-minute break we need to rest just a little bit before this game number three. I know that they are chomping at the bit to get into game number three, but we're going to take a quick break. When we're back, Icebox, game number three, DGS versus SD308. Don't go away.
Welcome back to the Illinois High School Esports Association Valorant playoffs. Oh, it's not playoffs. I said finals last time. <laughs> Carson just helped me out here. Anyway, we're here playing more Valorant. Game number three between Oswego SC 308 and, of course, Downers Grove South taking that last game to make it a game number three. We're on Icebox. Absolutely. As it's been a very hot game so far, as somebody, I believe, on the someone side did not connect fully yet, but it'll, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, they've, got, <laughs> they've got 50 seconds to go. Yeah, but uh, anyway, South has been a very, it's been a very hot game here, uncharacteristic by the icebox we're playing, as maybe it'll cool down, maybe someone will get a sweep <laughs> here, but I don't think that's too likely with how the game's been going so far. As we mentioned, <laughs> Doom Eternal earlier, and it's been as chaotic as that game is to play. So we'll have to see how this one goes. We're seeing a lot of similar picks here. Maybe a little bit of a chamber and a so Sova difference here, but Cobra hasn't picked yet. But I guess South is going to try their best. My school try their best here to get this win over the SD308s on this Icebox map. But they do play a lot. Icebox Dude, tends to be in every single game, which is very yeah. very it's kind of strange. I mean, it's just small map. Everybody knows, I guess. Uh, I personally people, don't like it, but whatever. <laughs> people don't want to play on Pearl, and they don't want to play on Breeze. So this is what we get. Yeah, Breeze isn't exactly a great comp match when you have that giant open mid part. But we're playing on Icebox. So yeah. here we're going to see uh, really only a difference in f a fade and a chamber here as opposed to a jet and a Sova on the other side for SD308. Uh, as you see, the Red Turtle on that on that chamber pick played well last game, not as chamber, but still played extremely well. As you see, Ty on that Reina pick again, another top player for South. As both teams, we notice not average what we see every day. As we see a lot of these featured games, certain players just take the lead and get five Ks, four Ks left and right. As both teams have actually been playing extremely well as teams. As the top fragger was within five kills, to, the match top fragger was within five kills to the bottom fragger. Or, last game and it's just been a very close match as we're gonna see south take the side on offense here heading towards a split push here maybe toward a little towards b but we see a very very oh sorry i apologize south plays the defense here and <laughs> sd308 gets ready for an a-sided push yeah absolutely i did want to mention that we do always see it seems like um i'm forgetting the name of the character now the poison poison girl character yeah we see her on, on Viper, icebox yeah. Viper, yeah we see her on icebox quite often it seems like uh, pretty much anytime icebox is picked just an excellent i think just being able to use the ultimate and cover so much ground in that map just an excellent time so looks like we're going to be on site already ty picking up a quick one on to origin jelly welly finding one as well and now the red turtle tied Everybody is going down. Yo Benito finding two, actually. Kind of shocking. Yo Benito finding, I'm sorry, finding three. Um, oh, Yo Benito finding four. One is defusing. Yo Benito, not quite finding five. That is just absolutely nerves, I think. Uh, but yeah, one Ty is gonna, gonna go ahead and defuse and find one. That's a crusher for the side of SD308. You've been playing a great game nearly near so far, nearly getting that first round. That really sets it across Econ and just sort of <laughs> uh, nerves really there. You don't you hate to see it, but I guess I like to see it because I am a DGS caster. But uh, <laughs> You mentioned that Viper pick. Viper is an excellent controller operator for this map. As you see, if you look at the map, it's a lot more boxy. In a very Each Focus site now. is literally just a square that can be cut in half with Viper's consistent abilities there. And you'll see it very frequently, and it can really determine how well a match goes or how well a team even plays as we see a B-sided push from SD308 here. Absolutely. As you mentioned, a B-sided push. The Red Turtle's going to find Wing Ding, perhaps lurking in the middle. Now it looks like Gunt is going to be planting on site. Lechon going to try to find a swing and not going to find anyone as Arch is going to find kill on the stinger. It is a four versus four scenario here as the bomb has been planted. So now we'll, what will they do? The user is going to go down to the poison. Ty taking down Gunt. 
it is again almost even up it is evened up excuse me now fuse going down and actually going to be faked out sage not enough hp to do anything the red turtle finding a 3k and downers grow south picking up the second round south losing their advantage there nearly losing to their beloved stinger but d red turtle had one of their own as the stinger squad gets a 2-0 lead here putting econ towards their favor uh, not too much though because actually they have less money from the other side due to just they they bought fairly frequently south likes to buy south likes to get these rounds early as it means a lot to them to stay up and stay in early uh, it's kind of what won them the last game too is that when they even had skids and they got and sd308 brought the game back they couldn't do, do it fully because south had gotten those two rounds early bought early and got those rounds early putting them directly in the driver's seat for that game but we're gonna see an ace out of defense here and a very very split push from sd308 here Yep, SC308 full buying those Vandals, as we mentioned. So that is going to be absolutely crucial, potentially, for what they will do. Wingdings had to take down Jelly Welly really early. Yeah, but the Red Turtle finding actually a very crucial pick onto Yo Benito. Now, 4v4 scenario, but a Vandal is in the hands of... Actually, multiple Vandals in the hands of Downs Grove South. Evening up the odds a little bit on this economy. Oh, Arjun is going to be taking down Lechonk, however. Now, looks like they're going to be playing on A side. Yeah, you're seeing a lot of great gunplay here from South, which they struggled with the first game. Bomb is, or, excuse me, Spike is going to be planted right into that corner. Pretty much a default here for A site. I trying to kind of hop up behind the stairs here. I didn't know you could do that. I don't, can I don't you do that? I don't think you can. Think you can. Yeah. <laughs> I think Ty just found that out. Okay. Hey, maybe you might as well try. I just see it again, you know. <laughs> yeah, enjoy it a little. <laughs> Figure it out. Nyx taking down Tide. The Red Turtle taking down Arjun. Oh, an ultimate already going to be used on the side. Oh, actually, before I even say that, SC308 taking the round. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, you would not SC308 didn't want to get down early. South, South and SC308, either of them win tonight. They get put into a top 16 spot. Guaranteed, I believe. Really? With I believe the way we station matches and how we have teams losing, if, if you're six and three, you should be making the playoffs. If you guys, I believe it'll, you'll, you'll have a much higher chance either way. Cause there is a lot of four and one teams. There's two five and O teams that played tonight. I do not know their result, but that's going to determine who's going to really be the one seed as I favored Jones in that match. It was Jones of Yorkville. As we see a literally five people headed towards B in the same tunnel uh, for SD 308. Yep, slow orb going to be used, and now a B push, a very clear B push, seems like. I'll find you. Welcome to oh, my and there is that famed Viper ultimate going to be used. Another slow orb used, and actually going to be shooting right through default. And Lechonk finding Yo Benito, finding the Sage counterpart. Arjun finding one, Wingding finding another. SC 308 is in a good position, 4v3. Here. Shall see how this continues. Just firing through. There, yeah. Firing through the smoke blindly. That's kind of what you got to do here. Ooh, sounds it looks like the rotation. Yep. There. Sight. Now A is going to be planted. Ooh, Wingding taking down Ty. Now just two members of Downers Grove South remaining to defend this spike. Will they be able to? Some shots being taken. Look at them chasing each other around the corner. The stage wall is going to go up and they might actually just stick the plant, but they won't because someone went straight across on those famed, uh, zip, or what are those called? Uh, yeah, zip, lines. zip lines. I almost said zip ties. I'm like, that's not what they're called. <laughs> that's not Arjun that. takes down Cobra. And SC 308 is going to even up the odds here. Now round number five. Absolutely, SD308, SD, S, yeah, no, I said it right the first time, SD308 <laughs> clawing back here as both teams' mascots do. As we mentioned, combination of Oswego East and Oswego High School Wolves and uh, Wolves and Panthers. A lot of similarities there in each team, but today they typically rivals are united in the IHSEA to beat the evil forces of the Mustangs, I suppose, <laughs> as we see an A heavy push and a B heavy push. Uh, defense or other way around, but you get my point. Right. I think I got your point. 
As the round continues, Red Turtle finding one, Nyx finding another very early on to the round. And they didn't see her waiting around, around the corner with the shorty, uh, but Chunk's gonna go down by Yobanito. Wing Dang taking down Ty. You now, there are four members Spike of Oswego SD308 versus Down with Grove South. Jelly Welly, shorty in a dream, right? I mean, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. wow, not just a shorty in a dream, a Marshall in a dream, finding Yo Benito. Next, picking up the th nice little 3K for that round. Jelly, made a little bit of a statement there, but eh, for, for uh, what is what it is, the South looks to try and just get back into this as they've just lost three in a row and are struggling a bit on the money side, but finally have enough for that full buy. That they have not been able to get even remotely so far. I believe this might be their f first full buy of the match. Considering that they bought they bought second round, which is eh, kind of a rough decision money wise, yeah. but you want to try to get those matches early. And South prides themselves on being excellent econ players, but they have full bot here as they try and make a strong defense against SD three hundred eight. Definitely. So I believe the two five and O teams were Jones and Yorkville. Yeah, Jones took that match. So Jones, Jones oh. is undefeated. Mm -hmm. There you go. Jones stays undefeated an absolute powerhouse. Arjun taking down Ty in this game right in front of us. 4v4 scenario, seems like. Happens quite often. 4v4s, 3v3s, seems to happen all the time. Especially in close matches like this. So we're going to see a Ooh. little bit of yep. a rotation. Yeah, I kind of do like this rotation here. Barrier is going to be put up. Chonk putting up a barrier on B site. Forces everyone to mid as we're gonna see probably a clash. This is this is getting quite intense. Camera's gonna find one. Arjun potentially. A little bit of trouble. Gonna back out. Both teams playing real passively, but Oh, swing in the corner, Arjun finding the red turtle. Now SC308 is at an advantage. Four to three. Thirty seconds left. Heading back to the site they initially ran from. <laughs> yeah. Looks like Cobra is going to be walking through the smoke and potentially finding some shots here. Not quite. Oh. Leave that is going to be. Oh. Okay. Considering it. Right? Yep. 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 Considering I'm thinking really hard on it. Yep. Yep. Oh, and they are going to find the shot onto Arjun. Arjun was on fire, taking three members of Down Hill South down. Standing. But Gunt taking down Jelly Welly. And uh, Cobra is the last one alive for Donna's Grove South. Can Cobra take the win? Yeah, the oh. Mustangs aren't looking to get four to two there, but they're going to have to take it. Just taking some money back, but I don't think Cobra knows someone's at mid. They're gonna... Cobra's got to be really careful. Cobra saw one. <laughs> oh, oh, Cobra finds one. That's cool, going to be but... huge. Yeah, Cobra with the clothesline all over Gunt, as that's going to be big for the Econ side. Taking one, not losing one. A lot better than not taking one and losing two at that point. But South, kind of a little bit of a rough spot here money-wise. They don't win this ground. They don't get equal kills. They don't keep somebody alive. And it's going to look a little grim for the Mustangs here as they are just looking up against an economic and a round powerhouse. It seems as, like I mentioned earlier, they've struggled on the defensive side as we see a very, very excited push that South doesn't look too ready for. Indeed. But what we will see here is ultimates being used. <laughs> Lots of shots being just taken left and right here. Grunt taking down Jelly Welly. The, the Red Turtle finding Gun. Four versus four scenario, about a minute left in the round. Spike is down though, so they do know where it is. It's actually kind of a pretty bad scenario if... We, oh, actually, Arjun's going to be taking down Ty. Ooh, this is actually really intense. That was where South does not want to go down without a fight on this round. Sova, using his Hunter's Fury, is not going to quite find anything yet. Nick's finding Red Turtle in the chunk. Oh my goodness, just absolutely doing as much as they can. Donna's Grove South finding the kills that they need, and Cobra taking down Wing Ding. Three to four. Hunters win that one. <laughs> Keeping that econ alive is important. Keeping one other person with a gun alive 
this. They even if they lose next round, they still don't want to get themselves dug into a hole here. And that's a great res. South South just did everything in their power to keep that alive. As you mentioned, a hard fought site there, getting the picks that they needed, staying back, not forcing an attack on the defensive side or from the defensive side rather. As we see, the Red Turtle just leading this team all together with 10 kills but jelly welly again bottom fragging but ended up top fragging overall last time as jelly welly seems to be such a great offender a little bit of a all right defender but still playing extremely well on this viper pick oh. like cobra just yeah. get just rock arjun for mid now little by little they will play this one out A little bit of a shot there. Looks like on the shoulder. Ring Ding going to take down one. Dread Turtle finding one with his ultimate. They will go Ooh, powerful mm -hmm. here. Yep. yep. Down his row south. It's going to be at an advantage. But Ty is going to go down while in alt. Now, as I mentioned, that Ring Ding with the 3k. SD 308 is now in an advantage. Red Turtle peeking with his off. Drone is going to go down. Will they find one? What a shot from the Red Turtle. Teleport's ready. Oh, could not quite pull the trigger in time. Nyx taking down the Red Turtle. And now, again, as we mentioned. Oh, boy. Compromising spot if you are Jelly Willy. Nyx taking down Jelly Willy, as we mentioned. And SC308 is going to take that round. Absolutely. South getting around back there, kind of clawing a little bit for three and four. Maybe four and four. Can't get that through as it is a three five here. But as we know, anything can happen on X on Xbox on, on Icebox on Xbox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as we're going to see South with their favorite little guns, their favorite little econ rounds is I'm not going to call it a full econ round because one of them does have full op vandal. But they do love their stingers, and they oh, never mind. I eat my words again. As we see, yep. judge and full mantle side from that PP push. Boy. These teams do that quite often. Yeah, they just like you say something, and then immediately they're like, "Now nah, we'll do the opposite." Oh, as we oh. say that, next is going to turn the corner. The red turtle is going to go down. Viper yeah, using the ultimate there. Wing thing finding one. Now it is a five v three scenario in favor of SD three oh eight. Next takes down Cobra. So far, Wing Ding doing well as well. SC308 hasn't lost a player on this round yet. And as I mentioned, there's the flawless. That's not what you like to see from the side of Downer South when you're already down three rounds now. As it's looking a little grim for the Mustangs here, they're gonna try and get a. They're gonna really try their best here with less of an econ round. I think they're all gonna be able to buy. Yep. I'm going to be able to full buy is they're going to try and make a rallying cry here and keep the stake off the defense and try and put this back to a closer game for the half as it is approaching in three more rounds as we sit at round 10. And South looks for this A heavy push knowing that they keep going A and they're just hoping that they can stop it here as we see again why Viper plays where they do with that line. Definitely, the Chonk playing a pretty, pretty nice line there too. Ty finding a early kill on Nyx. That might be huge for Downers Grove South this round. Lots of utility going down onto A. And it seems like Arjun's going to be taken down to Red Turtle though. And Wing Ding taking down Ty. So now it's flipped again. Oswego 308 is going to have a little bit more of an opportunity to play this round out. A lot of utility was already used on A site. It seems like both teams kind of knew where they were going. They just ran directly into each other. So now I'm going to play around mid here. A little bit of mid push, two is one that goes to each site respectively, but South looks towards B a little more. Oh, running around the corner with the utility. Probably going to be able to heal up on their own, right? Potentially, if the Sage yep. has the heal. Nope. I head towards A and South just isn't ready for that. Yeah, 20 seconds on the heel for uh, Spike Carrier there, so it's going to be kind of rough. The Chalk finding one in the background. Wingding is not prepared for that rotation, and Downers Grove South is now in a scenario where it is a 3v3. 30 seconds left. Spike planted. Oh, Dunt taking down Jelly Welly. Now, SC308 in favor. The Chalk taking down Yo Benito. Now, it is tied up again. As I say that, Arjun finding two, finding three on the round. South yeah. with an advantage there, just 
gets completely off guard by a wonderful flank from Arjun. And we're going to see the last two rounds of South really tries their best to not go down three to nine here, as that could be a bit of a death sentence there, as they saw earlier in the round, as they're going to try and rattle back, rattle through here. We see a lot of struggling on the south side to defend properly and know where that push is. They had no idea where they were headed on that round there, and that Let's got go. the plant down, got everything down. The south just wasn't ready, and they weren't even rotating too fast either, as they're kind of missing that quick rotations that they had earlier on bind, but they're going to try and get it back as we see a split AB push with Spike, I believe, with B. Yeah, Spike looks like it is with Jet, so that is going to be on B. Now, slowly but surely, it looks like they're going to make the B play, and it looks like Down Shore South does suspect something. Uh, yep, Red Turtle, two yep, over. yep, yep, now they know. So now, oh, you got to check that corner, though. The Red Turtle's going to take down Arjun, and the Spike's going to be down. It actually may not be the best scenario for SCP-08. I suspect, or, excuse me, the, uh, what is that? I already forget about the name of the game. Nick's taking down LeChonk. Cobra taking down Yo Benito. SC-308 in a 3v4 scenario, so down as well south is in favor. Have the site planted already, so now it is all up to them. Nyx taking down one again. Oh, oh my goodness, Nyx is actually really, really excited here. Taking down three on the round, and will they be able to clutch this out? They should be able to. One is playing around the boxes, but they have to figure out who's gonna defuse, and it doesn't matter. Excuse me, who has, they're not gonna be defusing. Wingding is gonna be taking down Cobra. Now Swigo 308 is going to take another round. Absolutely, South just not playing too well there. They had the advantage and they had Nyx dead to rights, but you see Ty push the corner there and then just not get anything. Even with that blind, full blind, he knows there's a full blind. He doesn't push too hard. And I know Reyna's got a nerf, but in times like these, you gotta just gamble on that when you're down three to seven, three to eight now with a poor take back from sight even with the advantage for the Mustangs as they look a little more aggressive on the speed. Nope. Reyna is going to pop her ultimate. Arch is going to be taking down the Red Turtle early on in the round, so that could spell disaster for down this real south in this first half. As she say that, though, she's going to be using the ultimate, and the Sage Wall is going to go up. The plant's going to start, but it's not going to finish. Lots of things going on now. Grunt taking down Cobra. Arjun taking down the Chomp. Sova's Hunter's Fury is going to be used to clear out the site as well, and the spike is going to be planted. Nick takes down Jelly Welly and not a single member of SC-308 have gone down. Ty is going to walk in, but not quite check the corner, and Yo Benito is going to take them down. And that is going to be the end of the first half. Wow. Rough for the Mustangs there. I mean, you had it going right at the beginning. You thought you were doing great, and you just you let you let SC-308 get back in this game, and you South is struggling hard here to keep everything in their favor, keep everything the way they want to keep it in the sense that they're just not playing that great of a game. They're making crucial mental mistakes that are really costing them, but they have played much better offense as we saw them go down four to eight in that first round and only ended up losing by one, I believe it was, or two rather on that first game. But you see that this team struggles very hard on the offense, struggles very hard on the defensive side, but can get it done on offense. And South's going to see what they can do here with maybe an aggressive B side pushes. Nobody's waiting for it. Well, Dallas Except Girl South is the king of the pistol round, so we shall see as Cobra takes down Nyx. Hi, yeah, running around. Uh, yep, this is tight for South. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we got it. This is our pistol round. This is what we do. Spike planted. Spike is going to be planted now. As so we go through your weight, down one member, but everything is possible on a pistol round. So if they're going to just go ahead and swing this wall here. The Red Turtle going to be taking down Arjun. Ty taking down Yo Benito. And it is going to be absolute disaster for us. We will 308 at this pistol round. Gun taking down the Chonk. Oh. And as we say that, Wing Ding taking down another. But Jelly Willy taking down Gun. It's all up to him now. It is a 1v2 scenario. 10 HP, a ghost, and a dream. The bomb is about to go off, so they absolutely need to play something. It is absolutely too late to win the round now, so... Red Turtle's going to take down Wingding and hopefully survive. Oh, nope. Standing. Doesn't quite survive that. But uh, Fade does leave with their life. Yep, so I should probably not stay on a buy here as they look like they are going to. I would really, really caution this team to buy as it kind of cost them as they went really down economy. But they're sticking mm -hmm. to their guns here. 
in quite the literal sense is they we buy two specters a bulldog and a sheriff and it's it didn't work out for them last time money wise but it, we can only all they can do is hope on the south side to get another great win and stay in this game as the SD308 looms on that match point See what can go down here. Gunt with the shorty buy. Oh, right click's gonna go down. Yo, oh my goodness, what an excellent play to stand. Gonna go over the wall, and now it's a 3v3 scenario. Despite all of their shortcomings, SC308 is trying to find the opportunity to take down Downers Row South. And another kill with the shorty, Gunt is going to earn. It is a 2v2 scenario now. Bombs down, but that's good on this side. So. Gunt taking another. Oh, and Yo Benito finding the last one with the classic, picking up anything that they can. And SC 308 is going to find the round. Yep, Turtle not really knowing where Benito was kind of cost them there. And that low economy is going to cost them. I mean, South won that first round, which should spell doom for the other team's economy. But when you have rounds like that where they buy full classics and you don't get there, you can see that South is now having to save after winning round one a little bit here. As they did get money, but like you see, Lechonk, Lechonk doesn't have, um, barely has anything. Uh, but Red Turtle can still buy things like a Odin here. It's kind of a bit of a rough situation for South. Absolutely. There. Nope. Seeing a yeah. other a side push, you see so much on the A side <laughs> because it literally picks up half the map. I can hear the stress in your voice. You want Donald Girl South to do as best they can as Arjun takes on Ty. That is going to spell a, an advantage, actually a two-man advantage now as Arjun takes on Jelly Willy as well. One-man advantage now again as the Red Turtle takes down Yo Benito. Now, 4v3. One minute and 15 seconds left in the round. Ooh. Very scary peak there from Wingding. Lechonk gonna find him. And uh, actually, Gunt finding the spike now. This is an absolutely compromising position to be if you have that spike down in your, basically in your base. Oh, Arjun finding an excellent kill there as well. Three on the round and Nyx is going to find the kill despite being on the zip line. Absolutely. Yeah, you mentioned earlier in the round. Absolutely. I am stressed. Uh, <laughs> I've, it's kind of it's kind of rough seeing these guys struggle a bit here as each and every one of them is, is a great guy that I'm very close friends with a lot of you here. A lot of them I play Tarkov with. I play other games with and it is rough to see them struggle but it is what it is as we see an 11-4 around here in the south just trying to get back into this game on the offensive side that they're so good at but are just struggling here is there saying something in chat but i didn't fully yeah, read not... it oh uh, no they want oh, to call a timeout but they time that was like you can't oh, okay that's weird I thought that's a call I... to and i was like oh yeah. oh, oh. No, we don't know what's going on there but it looks like the round is going to continue as planned Ooh, Arjun taking down Ty. Arjun is just absolutely on fire when it comes to this map, especially Cobra taking down Yo Benito. And now it is a 4v4 scenario. Ooh, Wington with the judge. Hey, you gotta respect it. Gotta respect it. It's a little terrifying run into one of those. Ooh, the Red Turtle taking down Gunt. Now, SC308. Only three members left. What an intelligent play from the red turtles just to be hopping over waiting for someone to walk out of that corner and now sc 308 is kind of not oh all right something just disconnected not sure what that was Sorry. yeah they were headed to uh well uh, both sc 308 and red turtle the red turtle had completely fooled that there was a b push going on and it leaves a completely open for the south as they just forgot to plant i guess and stopped there for a second but they keep it going as now this diversion by the red turtle has done excellent work as south is playing yeah this i mean arjun has been absolutely on fire this game so this is absolute oh you know i, I respect the trigger discipline there but maybe it would have been better just to take down one for economy's sake who knows um wasn't quite able to find what they were looking for i, I know that arjun's heart was beating heavy it was like i can do this <laughs>
Absolutely, as you're looking now at a south timeout that they tried to call last round but didn't work too. Oh, no, I apologize. It is a defender timeout. Yeah, it looks like they... I, I, I believe the conversation they had in chat was like, hey, you know, you can't call your timeout for some reason. We'll call it next round for you. So that's some right. great sportsmanship there, I think, from uh, from SC 308 and obviously Dodge Grove South using this time to kind of talk and figure out exactly what they want to do. 11 as far as they get, right? Isn't that what they say? Uh, again, like we mentioned last cast, <laughs> you're the only person I've ever I'm, heard say not, that. But I promise I'm not the only person that I've heard say that. Somebody else has said at some point, 11 as far as they go. I don't know if it was Dell, if it was somebody else on the cast, but I know it was for sure not created by me. Anyway. As a South fan, that's personally where I'm hoping it goes. There you go. Uh, that's right. But that's right. And the South's going to really try and recuperate here. They did win that last round, and we see good sportsmanship to call that timeout, even though it's not working for the South side here. Right. As South looks to recuperate, and it's just kind of rough. As you're on a you're on an offense, you're 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 playing offense. You've got money, but you're just getting beat by this SD three hundred eight team, this Wolves and Panthers joint team playing extremely well against this Downers Grove South team, and it's kind of hard to like. It's hard when you're just getting out beat, and it's hard to create a strategy when you're just getting beat in the gun game and such like that. The South is a B is a heavy play. here as they look to try and redeem themselves in this game. Yep, some ultimates are going to be used right at the beginning of the round, so this is an absolutely serious round. Nyx is going to potentially find someone around this corner, and Jelly Willy was just not quite ready. Nyx is going to run as the shade, but actually is going to go down to LeChonk. So now Wingding taking down one as well. Four versus three scenario in favor of SC-308. What will happen next? Arjun does have the ultimate pop. They're going to be trying to find something. LeChonk is going to go down, and you got to know that they are celebrating that kill because now it's a 4v2 scenario. Oh, but Cobra actually taking down Yo Benito as well. Now it is a 3v2 scenario. It's not over till it's over, Carson. Not over till it's over. Absolutely. The South team plays unafraid as they just... They, they need they know they need this game and they know they need this round and it's crucial as the red turtle heads towards a site looks like there's some carson love in the chat carson is winner's pov that's what carson that's we got some carson fans well, that's it's good to hear even if south doesn't win <laughs> cobra is taking down wingding now it is a 2v2 scenario i wouldn't hold your breath quite yet because it does look like there's something possible here the red turtle gonna be planting Arjun's gonna be behind <laughs> throwing the gun to his actual teammate that's actually really smart oh caught with the utility out not quite where you want to be dead red uh, excuse me the red turtle i just trip over that name all the time cobra waiting on the back of the site it's like hey i i, I can find something here i've seen absolutely. cobra win these absolutely oh hey, there's viper oh, oh wait a second the knives did go wide oh and through the box <laughs> Cobra finding four on the round. If you are a Downers Grove fan, you are ecstatic about that one. Absolutely mentioned. Absolutely, absolutely mentioned. Abs wow, there we go. Absolutely great play there. As you mentioned, <laughs> Red Dead Redemption Turtle gets caught with his pants down, the knife out, and gets completely it puts a south in a bad situation to defend that site. But Cobra, I guess you could say, speak of the devil when you mention those clutches. Speak of the Cobra as Cobra gets an excellent, excellent round there, taking this game for South, taking this round rather for South as they look to recover here. <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself quite yet. It's possible, <laughs> but uh, you know, it's, don't get ahead of yourself quite yet. Long way, long way. Yeah, standard round here, standard start. You can see some, some jiggle peaks here. I think Cobra might have spotted one. Cobra's gonna take some shots and not quite finding their target. Hunter's Fury is available, but uh, of course the, the judge is also in, in their hands. So Wingding's gonna find one with the judge actually. So that's gonna work out just fine for them. Jelly Belly taking down Yo Benito, and now they're a little bit confused. A site is going to be taken over potentially. Not sure. Oh, it looks like, oh, oh no. Dunt knows absolutely that they are gonna be right trading over to the other side, excuse me. And it looks like the poison's actually gonna go down. Spike is that gonna hit the spike plant? I don't know if that actually hit the planter, so yeah, I'm not so quite sure. Decay, so I guess it did go down, but I oh, think okay. they're fine. Arjun finding, or uh, pretty much just the, the Hunter's Fury on the back end there. Cobra finding Wingding. Now a 3v4 scenario in favor of Downers Grove South. 
this is this is getting quite intense. We know there's some shots going around. I don't know exactly where that's going to be. The marshal is not going to do quite well for them. Nick's finding one. Now a 3v3 scenario is going to be way late in order to be... Oh, actually going to be finding one. Potentially finding two. Finds two. Okay, so Gunt finds two on the round, but Donald's Grove South does find the round itself. 1v1 at the end of that round. So you would assume that, you know, that does... Maybe best case scenario for Oswego there if they're able to not win the round. Absolutely, but again, you saw at the end it kind of got evened out because they thought they had that advantage, and then Nick's a guy. I think I don't even know who got picked off, but somebody on Oswego on the Oswego side got picked off there, and this joint team kind of looks to recover here as they've been beat three rounds in a row and south kind of ruining its ugly head is a team that will come back and will beat you if you're not careful but they're gonna have to try their best on defense here to stop this a push from south as there is an afk spawn member so we'll have to see how that goes they oh, did back. spot one yeah they did spot one with the arrow and maybe if i have just a little bit of time here i just want to mention that Carson is a living W is another thing they got put in the chat as we see one Nick's taking down Cobra and Yo Benito finding Ty. Jelly Welly finding Yo Benito. And that was a 4v3. A 4v4, excuse me, as I mentioned, as one is going to be Rez, the Red Turtle finding Wing Ding, and now it is in favor of EGS. Donald's Grove South finding the plant on to A. Little by little creeping into the smoke, potentially just gonna be spraying through. <laughs> Not quite finding anybody yet. Maybe a little bit of frustration, maybe a little bit of nerves, who knows? Arjun jumping over the smoke, finding one. Oh, not quite finding two. So now, now this this game is swinging it very, very heavily into the favor of Downers Grove South now. Absolutely four in a row. They've cut their lead in half now as they look within three, but South can't celebrate yet as very clearly they're down and they have them on an econ round. But as you see, South has struggled really hard against SD 308 on econ rounds, and we're gonna have to see they can pull it off with a full team of Vandals, and something tells me that they have an advantage with a full team of Vandals. Yeah, I, I you know, who knows, right? I would like I mean, to thank the chat for all the compliments. So it keeps me going. Yeah, yeah, we got Carson is the living W. Oh, Nick's taking down Ty. Cobra taking down Yobanito. There's just not enough downtime in between these rounds. Cobra finding two more. We love Carson. Also is another one. Carson is in my physics class. What a cool dude. Yeah. Okay, that guy. <laughs> oh, going to be spotting one and oh, what an absolute a great remaining. shot. Cobra finding three. Red Turtle finding the kill onto Gant. Arjun finding one. Okay. Okay. A little bit wrong sight there, but kind okay. of finds that flank. Protects himself. Okay. Hold on. There is a scenario here where Arjun just solos these three, right? I mean, there is a scenario that you would not prefer. But definitely a scenario nonetheless, and that does not happen. Yeah, I mean, Arjun is completely playing very well, as the, as the chat is saying it. Every time Arjun does anything, Krypton Kerf keeps mentioning how good Arjun is, as he's playing it, has played an excellent few rounds here. But as you as you've mentioned, much to my much to my pleasure, stuff did get him there in that one v three scenario. <laughs> As we're going to see full bias from both teams here as this is a crucial, crucial round. And it's going to be an A push, it looks like, for both sides. But this is a lot for both teams. So there is the dart going to be used. Cobra taking some shots across to Wing Ding. Nick's going to be hiding in this corner here on A. It looks like they got the read right in. Oh, no. Nick's is going to go down the tie. That has got to be frustrating now for the side of us. Uh, SD three hundred eight, excuse me. Deploying drone. See what more can happen. Oh, Ty taking down Arjun in the back as well, and Nick's being Riz though. So Riz, ah, Riz. Jeez. <laughs> All right, it's been a long night. It's been a long night. Nine to eleven here on the side. Oh, jumping around the corner and actually really smart play, not over committing. So now Nick's taking down the Red Turtle. Oh, and Yo Benito taking down Jelly. Okay. Now it was a 3v3. Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? It's a 3v3 scenario. 
Oh, and there is the ultimate going to be used on the side of SC308 as well. So now, what will they find? It looks like the judge is going to be fired some shots somewhere. And the firing squad's just going to come right around the corner. They don't know. One is behind. Ty is going to be playing this on the wide angle as well. Oh my goodness, it is a 1v1 scenario. What can they do? SC308 has wing dink. He's going to start defusing, but he's trying to try to stick it. He's going to go right around the corner. Didn't have quite enough HP. Ty finding the 3k on the round. 10 to 11 now. South kicking both heels are coming right back to SD308. Like I mentioned earlier, this team is not one to be underestimated when you're up big. SD308 getting comfortable with that lead. And now we are one round away from a tie game, but we're also one round away from match point for SD308. Yeah. This, is this is a, a close game that will end in... in I think disappointing fashion for a very, very disappointing fashion for whoever loses here. Yeah, but we yeah. can say as the broadcasters that this has been a great match to watch as we see an A heavy push again for South and not very heavy A defense either. You remember during the break when I asked you if, uh, if, I, if you thought my food was cold? It's absolutely cold now. Absolutely. There's no doubt about it. It's 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 done. His food is frozen. <laughs> Jelly Willie taking down Nick's. Great way to start the round if you are a Downers Grove South fan. Oh, and the shot's gonna go down, but not quite finding anybody. Cobra takes down Yobanito and Arjun takes down Lechonk. Cobra taking down Arjun. Four members versus two in favor of Downers Grove South. If you are a Downers Grove South fan, you are probably jumping in your seat right now. I can only imagine how Carson feels right now having to cast this round. And we will see what the play is, Gun is gonna start the defuse. Wing Ding actually finding an absolutely great shot onto the Red Turtle. The spray is gonna go through the Toxic Screen. Not quite finding anybody yet. Blind is gonna go through. Ty might be able to do it. Ty does not. Will they get the fuse? It was down to half. Oh, and Jelly Welly just playing that so well. Knew exactly where to stand. Got the, uh, got the spike planted, got it going. That's what you see. Jelly Willy not having a great game, but Jelly Willy still super intelligent there, knowing where bombs planted, but absolutely crazy here. As we see a timeout, oh my goodness, South has completed the comeback <sighs> as even this game at 11s. Okay. I am. <laughs> I am in my seat right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> now, this is. Uh... This is 11 to 11 here. Yes, yeah, so we're going to see a connection timeout for the Downer South time as LeChonk having very bad connection issues, so they're going to get him out and get him back in really quickly here. Uh, and this is a little rough because his game... Oh, his game crashed, actually. Wow, that is a bad yeah. sign for South as you can't... He's trying to get this out as they're going to call a, a five-minute after this, it looks like. Uh, because I believe in the IHSCA rules, you are allowed to do that if somebody's computer crashes mid-game right yeah definitely if they if there was a technical pause i, I can understand uh someone did dc looks like um as you mentioned yeah it'll give us some time to process this very very insane match from the mustangs and the joint sd308 team as I mentioned it earlier this game in my general in my general notes both teams have the same plus and minus score and I look looks like we might be getting back a little early as yeah, Lechonk looks like they're in the game. Yeah, ready, yeah. They, they were they willed to take that pause and they were ready to get going. So we're right back in the match here. Back in. Oh, wow. Actually, we were wrong. No time for too much too long of a break for us as we're right back in the action. As <laughs> South has completed the comeback and looks to win this game overall as they head, head for an A mid push. There they are. This is absolutely the way you want to play this game, Wing Ding, finding an opportunity, and SD308 is just like, what can we do to get back into this game? Down is Grove South, just riding this high now. What can they do? Tied up game, Cobra, finding Nyx early. That is going to be absolutely crucial. Ty, finding Wing Ding, and this is already not looking good for Oswego 308. I can only imagine how this feels, but Arjun finding Cobra, Ty finding one as well. Actually, finding Arjun as well. Marshall going to be used, not quite finding what they need to. Red Turtle finding Gunt. Yo Benito is uh, 
all alone. Oh, <laughs> trying to fire, fire from quite a long range with that judge may not be uh, may not be the best way to take that player down. Yeah, seeing the save kind of cost SD three eight here as that yeah. round is over for SD three eight tie with an excellent three K to keep this game alive. And South has That's now won eight matches in a row and have SD-308 on the ropes. And I believe they're going to look for a timeout here on the other side. Uh, but they're not going to call it as... Yep. Yeah, as <laughs> they have just decided SD-308 will talk through it with the time they're given as full by vandals on both sides. And we're just... It's going to come down to a game of skill right here as South tries to Standing keep this game out of overtime play. and win Let's this game. I, I don't... Oh. Okay. Hunter's Fury. Gonna be used. Not quite finding anybody. Using it patiently. Ooh. Didn't quite find anybody Flying. yet. Wing Ding is gonna use now the uh, drone here. Try to find anybody. I hope the call isn't that nobody's there because... They have, <laughs> they have seen people Silver. there. Definitely. It's also, uh, if, or uh, not Sova, Sage, top left if he was looking right, but he might not be too sold. <laughs> One minute Nick left in the one. round. Yep, Nick spots one, but not rotating yet. The Sova sure has to be fear. really careful about how they play this. Nick is going to go down again early. Red Turtle taking down Wing Thing. This could be it. For Donald's Grove South, as I say that though, Yo Benito is going to take down Spot Cobra. Planted. Yo Benito is actually up top. They haven't spotted him yet. They do know now. Gunt oh, taking down, down the Red Turtles. Yep. It is a 3v3 scenario here. Yet again, we are you always put into the scenario. LeChonk finding Cobra and being able to res him actually is going to completely negate what I just said. And as I said, these teams are just really great at doing what they do. Ty taking down Arjun. One more player standing. Yo Benito just standing in the decay, potentially just waiting for a defuse or something. Gotta play it through. Cobra taking down Yo Benito, and that is going to be it. An absolute turnaround for Downers Grove South. Downers Grove South not only lost the first match, won the second, was absolutely comeback kid for this team. Carson, how are you feeling right now? I can only imagine. <laughs> I, I, to, to say the least, my heart is beating a lot in my chest. And you saw South <laughs> struggle very hard on Econ there too, like I mentioned, as I am so, <laughs> so excited. Uh, that was an excellent match. They were down 9-3, to three <laughs> and they just come back. And, no, 10-3, to three, I apologize. 10-4, to 10-3, to three, something like that, and rattle back. 11. I think back it was 11. I, I think it, uh, yeah. I, I remember it being 11 because do you remember what I said? I, I need to hear you say it now because oh, clearly yeah. it's not just me. Yeah, <laughs> 11, and, 11 and they're done. Is oh, yeah, just, well, that's, wow. that's close. That's fine. That's close. That's fine. I got uh, we, you know, I, I got that. But DGS with an absolutely stunning SD-308 on their own choice map, I believe it was, and South getting it done and not giving in to the SD-308 pressure, putting them on their heels, getting them on the ropes, and finally clawing, clawing, or I guess hooving, hooving. They are the Mustangs. Yeah. Hooving and hooving. That's riding over SD-308. Absolutely. Well, that is going to be it for Carson and I. Thank you so much for watching tonight in the IHSCA stream. Check back next week on Tuesday, where it's going to be the last round before playoffs. And then make sure to watch on Thursday for those playoff games. Don't go away for the week, but as they always say, do your homework. Have a good one. Make sure you watch Land on Saturday. Don't forget that.